dice can create a miracle. So who's going to sing this week? Hail, hail to hero cast. A bunch of fucks doing good. Yay. Hero, hero, hero cast. God damn it. <laughs> it always ends back in Jetman. Yeah. And they say that hero cast can save us. <laughs> oh my god, it's special guest. They're Cher. casting us. Cher. <laughs> Cher. <laughs> Hello. All I can think is, look at this <laughs> here, okay? It's no! Ow! <laughs> ah! Every time I do, they make me laugh. Crystal Pepler! <laughs> All right, anyway, we are on patrol. We well, before we that. actually start, let's give the big formal introduction. So, hello to everyone watching. Welcome to episode five of HeroCast. If uh, 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 Ivy Thor. <laughs> If by wow. some god awful freak mistake of nature you're watching this before watching the other episodes, what the fuck are you doing <laughs> with your life? And also, we are a, uh, this is a side project that we're doing here on the Cast Ranger channel where we are playing a tabletop role playing campaign. Uh, our good friend Tom, formerly Savage Caster, the newly minted Red Caster, is our GM. And tonight we have a very full room. We have myself, the Blue Caster, we have Lane. Paul and Emily, and joining us as a special guest for this week is our friend Cell, the Northcaster. What's up, everybody? How's it going? And, and, and also, a very big table. And also, Blaze. It's live, a coon Live from Sunday night. From, from where Mr. he lives. Mr. Blazy Guy, how are you? Live from somewhere in Florida. So I just realized now that I'm Greycaster, you know, we've meshed really well together. Yeah. Last time it's on the HeroCast. Yeah, it's almost as if you copied this is his thing. What Again, last time on HeroCast, it was Christmas. And we celebrated Christmas by fighting off an alien invasion. Oh, I was I was like I was movie. recharging because I dabbed too excessively. <laughs> I got punched in the face in the sewer. Oh, I figured out a is horrible it, truth that, about Demon Queen. Isn't that animal abuse or something? <laughs> so anyway, we're driving around in the, one of the HeroCast armored vehicles, all just chilling. Am I driving? Yes, you were driving. Yeah, because I fucking you, deja okay. vu the last time we drove. No, because you called it. Uh, <laughs> we're driving around with us. Is uh, Techno Fox is there. Um, and... Uh, a couple of heroes. There are a couple of, uh, I guess, next level heroes, like heroes that are a little more famous than us, but not quite, uh, you know, like you know, super uh, uh, top tier heroes, like up and coming. One is the uh, armored wolf hero, Wolf, who is kind of standing there, uh, looking, you know, looking stoic in his wolf armor. His quirk is creative names. I'm the new. <laughs> and uh, both him and Midnight Shooter standing there going, let's see who can stand more dramatically in our armor. Uh, also, okay, right now. <laughs> also, there is a, uh, uh, another superhero. Yes, it is. Also with one of those little weird things over the uh, over the year. Oh, the, the umlaut? Yeah. Oof. Yeah, get umlaut of here. Oof. 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 Anyway. <laughs> um... Also is this uh, woman sitting there. She's got, like, long blonde hair, like, sunglasses on, and a Soviet hammer and sickle on her chest. Her name is Cher Noble. <laughs> <laughs> she is actually, like... You almost, you almost killed Ichi. Yeah. Is it because I said Cher? <laughs> yeah. No, no, this is a character I've been... Uh, literally, I was going to put in who is a nuclear-powered superhero on a oh. day in Ontario when we literally... I woke up at 7 a.m. like the rest of us with a... Um, nuclear fucking meltdown in Pickering. Yeah, we thought that the we thought that we were going to be killed in a nuclear fallout. Turned out somebody literally was just... Uh, jumped the gun on something. And you made her socialist Russia? <laughs> Better luck next time. So, well, yeah. I just remembered something. Yeah. What happened to uh, the alien gender ben Benjamin Franklin? Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> She'll be coming back later. I call her Gender Ben. I call her the Gender Ben. Also, I completely <laughs> forgot about her till just now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She'll be coming back next week. You guys know the whole thing about if the nukes go off, like, there's going to be an area, a zone, where every... Pizza will be baked perfectly. <laughs> I hope to be in that area. Yeah, it's just so uh, itchy. You'll be the pizza, probably. 
Well, no, that's not true, because it'll be just hot enough. <laughs> but there'll be also just enough radiation. I will There'll also be radioactive. At least you have pizza. Welcome to the as long as it has an eventuals. Okay, okay, let's, full let's anyway, try to focus let's, on game. Paul, guys, he has so much time. Welcome to Papa John's. Guys. To Papa John's. Yeah. What's Papa John's? Pizza. Let's, oh, yeah. That's the, yeah. Super racist homophobe pizza. Haven't you seen Ghostbusters? Oh, pizza Chick-fil-A? Uh, it's the pizza version of Chick Fil A. Yes. Anyway, I um, they were in Ghostbusters. She she looks around like ah hero cast. Interesting costumes you have. You don't have the uniform that you all conform to. No, we just kind of do our own thing and associate. With in this country, we value individuality. I go. I I, I I respond with a minute long explanation as to why it's protocol for me to wear the I, my design. Oh, and, so everyone, and, and she's just kind of staring blankly at me, just going. We're back in my group, the People's Heroes. We all have a uniform, so you can tell that we are from the People's Heroes, and everyone is inspired. <laughs> Russian you, accent's amazing. Well, you, do, you, do, do you inspire with, with these outfits of yours? It looks like you're inspiring to your vanity. <laughs> we have club rings. Fine normally doesn't wear clothes, so... We inspire people I did not know clothes. that thing could talk. Oh, hello. I am fine. I, it's, it's not who we are. I, I didn't ask how you were doing. You seem to be doing okay. Oh, fine's name is fine. Okay, your name is fine. I am Cher Noble. It's not who we are on the outside that defines us, but what we do defines us. It seems you like you all get into. <laughs> Alex, see on the news. A lot. Oh. I keep seeing on the news all of you shooting at things, snapping your finger, and then some orange one punch, punches it. <laughs> you have no teamwork. But we do have the most important thing a rotation. We have. I thought, I thought you were going to say friendship. I also, really that, that, that that's a that. marginal second. Well, anyway, <laughs> the marginal. I, <laughs> I have been sent here on the superhero exchange program, and I am going to evaluate what your team needs, and I will make my recommendations. Right now, I'm thinking uniforms and a lot more red. <laughs> Just cause, right? <laughs> I think you red is a color of people. passion. Of unity of the people. The Soviet anthem. So I can't fashion. help but feel like Second there's some bias back. in that. I am just I. What works works. Yeah. I offer nothing more, nothing less. Do you have the power to do that? The power to do what? To like influence our outfits and stuff. I am only going to make recommendations. It depends on the intelligence of your superiors to what happens okay. with my suggestions. All right. <laughs> but you see, my group, the heroes of the people, are known worldwide for our efficiency, our teamwork, and are recognizable in public images. It's all about managing a brand. I don't have to be able to shoot radioactive fire out of my hands to know what makes a good superhero team. Hey now, I don't shoot radioactive fire out of my hands. I know. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so you do shoot radioactive <laughs> fire out of your hand. Does your My, team... I am named after a Ukrainian. Uh, I am named after a Ukrainian meltdown uh, that spread radioactive particles into the atmosphere to this day. Of course, I shoot radioactive beams from my hands. So you're capitalizing on a disaster. <laughs> Recogni recognizable logos and and public opinion goes very well. Some people said that my name was offensive. We did a focus group, and the focus group said it wasn't that bad. Well, sure. Some people said that was defensive. On your side. So we put the fence around it. Okay. Hey, I, who's to complain? Our, our leader of our group is named the Mighty Stalin. <laughs> I, like, I like your insinuation that the communist is capitalizing. Well, you know, <laughs> gotta, they, gotta move with the times. <laughs> communism, com communism is a hot topic right now, especially when you can buy people's heroes stuff in hot topic. I knew that was going. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I could come up with a couple of lines of dialogue, but I'm not. Going to. Anyway, <laughs> we are going right now. We are going downtown, for there is a protest. Uh, against the space agency, who apparently did not notice that there was a alien hive ship inside the asteroid that you let fall into your city. If you guys did, were not on the scene, we would probably all be speaking alien. 
They would probably be dead. It would be worse than Well, that. whoever's left would be super dead. dead. Anyway, I will take you out, and I want you all to be super heroic. Even you. I'll try. <laughs> some people Some people seem to think that you are a clown. You know what? A magician. <laughs> Just because I have white makeup on. <laughs> I don't have white makeup on. <laughs> I know, it's a joke. Just He's insane not a, makeup. Not a Just because I'm an entertainer doesn't necessarily mean that I'm a clown. So yeah. anyway, the, the uh, truck comes to a stop and Chernobyl gets out. People are cheering. They're like, is that Chernobyl? <laughs> Man, yeah. And they come up and they're doing selfies. Like, yes, bring it in. Give, give the two fingers. Yes. Oh, that is good. That be good picture. You put that on the Instagram. <laughs> the Instagram. I don't want to know what they were doing with those two fingers. The two, that is the two fingers of, of, a, uni, of a united army. Of Instagram. Good job. Put, it on the inst- put it on the Instagram. I'm calling it Instagram for my <laughs> Instagram. Good for you, Dan. It happens oh, right it away. Your grams go up. It's because it's for instant gratification. I, all of a sudden, you all get notifications on your phones that uh, <laughs> link to my to my personal Instagram account. It's just, it's just pictures of me just attempting different do, dabs. Do not forget to comment, engage on our posts. Follow me on Patreon. I have also developed my own version, uh, emoticon of me dabbing. It is quite, quite funny. We get it! You I, dab! I am putting down my, my second Follow recommendation. On, uh, my second recommendation is to stop with the dab. Do not do not do the dab. Understood. Continue driving. You have to do the, like, oh, no, we're here. Dance. So anyways, <laughs> get down, there's a bunch of people, but then half of the, the group seems more... Uh, excited about uh, uh, the fact that some superheroes are here than uh, the uh, the protest. And there's signs like, uh, if we're not looking up there, what's looking down here? Mid- Midnight's just doing it. No, whisper. No. They just like flip their signs around. It's like, oh my god, hero cast! Like, as if they were written there on the back the whole time. Kill Bart. Kill Bart. <laughs> D Bart. D. Dylan stops the thing and goes, you guys want to go out first? Because the second I step out in my, you know, other form, probably gonna people are gonna be staring. So if you want to do your dramatic exits, you might want to do it now. Sure. Um, and also, um, I, I want to listen to the song, and, and uh, um, you see that Dylan has this like four thousand dollar headset. I'm just gonna uh, do this because I, I just actually uh, had these made for me by uh, uh, a company. Whatever you need to do, man. Yeah, well, the sound system in my in, in my Ferrari is not quite good yet. I gotta get it fixed. We get it. You're rich. Shut up. <laughs> well, didn't you guys do okay in the casino? Because I made seven million dollars. I did not require money. I would have. How nice for full you. Full time asshole. Sorry. I, I was a time. You were what? It cut out. You cut out. Cat. You were cat all time. You were cat. I was counting cards, so you know. Hey man, I didn't for you. get to play. All right, well, I'll buy you a headset. How about that? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I'm... We'll, we'll have it cat shaped. I don't know how we're gonna. <laughs> yeah, we'll get, have get, it cat. Get, get one of those ones with the cat ears. You could on probably it. wear the fox ones that Technofox made. No, fine is fine. <laughs> Technofox <laughs> blushes a little bit when Dylan talks about her. Fine is honestly sort of just thinking back to what happened at the casino and is going silent. Chernobyl leads back in. Are we going to sit here and talk and, and just waste time, or are we going to go meet the public? Wolf is wondering what happened it, at the casino. Say, Wolf is, Wolf is correct. He's not saying anything. He's not wasting his speech on, on silly casinos and and strange things. Yeah, we don't know you. Wolf Hiding has come out. to... Ha- has come to Russia and he has fought by my side. He has fought with uh, with the great Stalin, as well as uh, I can pick up another name off the top of my head. Uh, the ghost Marks hero, man. the ghost hero, the Red Scare. <laughs> That's good. The red Scare. I wonder. If, I wonder if Stalin has slow powers. Oh my god, he has to. No, Stalin's power is just. No. And there's another one whose name is just Russian who goes really fast. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, you know of the mighty Russian. He sends you. He sends you to a cos. He sends you to a cosmic pocket dimension, which he refers to as his cosmic gulag. That's cosmic his, gulag. That's his power. He can what? send you to pocket. Oh, I also have the powerful telekinesis, the mighty Tetris. <laughs> the mighty Minotaur. 
Attacks with floating blocks. We need a tour. Yeah, Alright, anyways, we get out. So you walk in through, a lot of the crowd is kind of like really excited. Uh, after you all get out, uh, you see the van kind of shift and then Demon Queen gets out in like the full full outfit and everyone's kind of gasping because physically they're the most interesting one. I'm just putting in my own personal headcan that just like while we're leaving, just that song from you Kill Bill. You, you don't have to <laughs> say that. It was actually no. happening. It doesn't have to be one of those. Oh, yeah. You're just, it, your, your character's just playing it out of their speaker. So remember, remember when we were at the uh, the the, uh, the planetarium and everybody was kind of just curious about us. This one, people are taking photos. They're referring to us by name, and it seems that each one of us has a group of people that are naturally gravitating around us. Even well, fine. Okay, so fine actually has a lot of children coming around and you know giggling and laughing like they're so amused. Uh, you. Your people want to see you do. They want to see you snap at things, Paul. Yeah, um, do magic tricks like mid, midnight shoot people. Uh, midnight shoot people are are like doing like badass poses in front of you, like they you know they want to like feel badass because your costume is badass. I just like have um, my gun on my shoulder. Short Lane, um, most dabbing. people seem to be uh, well. And you, they're ignoring you until you dab, and then they're you know a bunch of teenagers. Like, yeah, do, do the thing. Whoa, you're the dabbing robot. Because <laughs> they didn't. They think I'm just one of the normal robot cops, and then they see I'm one like, kid just like one. activate your hydraulics and do the deep dab. This woman walks the over. Dab bot, not dabbing. <laughs> this woman walks over, and it's like this, like I would say, average height woman. She's got like purple hair poking out of her uh, her hoodie, and she's got like a cat ear hoodie. And uh, she was like, "Oh, this is amazing! Your midnight shoot. This would be your Mark II armor." Yeah. Oh, that's amazing! I can't wait to see the Mark III. Uh, do you got any uh, any plans? Uh, I'm tossing around some ideas. You'll just have to stay tuned. Oh, that's amazing! An L13. Cool. Man, they, they've done a few upgrades on you, so you don't look like uh, one of the, the police officers, but they could do a lot more. Thank you, citizen. Oh, and fine. Oh, that's amazing. You're already flying around in your full form. You went, what, what happened? To the, you, how often do you spend time in the little thing? Fine isn't in her full form. Oh, you're not in full form? No. Oh, okay. Well, it's so good to see you in your regular form. I'm retconning everything I just said. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Mr. Fine Slight. Only goes awesome. Yeah. Finally you look amazing, Mr. Slight. And is that Wolf? It's glad to, we're glad to have you back. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, and Good Demon Queen. Oh, my goodness. You're bigger in person. You know a lot about us. Uh, I, well, I am... Uh, you could call me an amateur superhero. Someday I hope to be as well-known as you. You know, like, you guys are like legends to me. Oh, okay. This is our oh. Deku. Oh, hang on. Huh? Hi. Oh, I should introduce myself. My name is uh, Prin, and um, just call me a fan. Like, if I could just shadow you guys, that would be amazing. Like, that would be, like, the greatest thing ever. Nice cat ears. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's 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 a look. Um, did, uh, oh, my God, is that Techno Fox over there? Oh, that's amazing. This person was well, I, I follow the Reddit. I follow the HeroCast Reddit. <laughs> we were bound to get fans eventually, I suppose. We are heroes after all. Yeah, you see, I'm just, I'm fairly new. Nobody knows who I am. You know, don't worry about it. Who I am is unimportant. It's just who you are is really important. I feel like, I feel like just like, every time Wolf just talks, it's like, Oh, Wolf, how are you? What the fuck? <laughs> wow. <laughs> The assault wolf key. It's like I was wondering what he was getting in his room. Shadow walks over and like, what have you heard about me and the people's heroes? Oh, um, yeah, you're pretty good. <laughs> oh, we don't have time for this. We will move on. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, stuff is going, uh, like, stuff is going on. There are a lot of your, your police soldiers. They keep giving you the, su the, the robot police. They keep giving you salutes. That's nice. Like, even though they're not quite as awake as you, they're kind of like, this is, this is our hero. They treat him like a person. Yep. Get so they're all like, Psh -psh -psh, doing the salute. Um, one of them awkwardly dabs at you. And I just look, I, I, I just look to stare at him. And you give him five dabs. And <laughs> no, he just, he just, he just, the, the, the one I look at just stands back. Just... <laughs> There's just one that looks like it's Ingo a not so great model. It like dabs so hard its arm breaks off. Yeah, just, there's like an old model. Rocket in it! 
<laughs> Not equipped for damage. He so hard he accidentally slaps a child in the face. Oh, no! <laughs> I've been restraining myself, so so should you, okay? Attention, hero cast team. This is Singularity. We hit... And it cuts singularity, out. singularity. We have, we can't reach you. We, you're cutting out. Repeat what you just said. I try and figure out what's going on with the radio feed. There appears to be nothing coming back from here. Passage. Singularity. Come on. That's Damn it. suspicious. Mm. And I, I like, I try to connect to it because I have a connection to the headquarters, but I can't. I don't hear anything. Well, well, well. Good if it friend. isn't. Hero cast, really? and this guy walks forward. He's wearing kind of like a trench coat. He's got he's got a uh, he's got brown skin, bald, looks like to be in his early fifties. Um, Doctor Dabble, shaved <laughs> head, <laughs> and anyone who's been reading up, this is the supervillain that has escaped the supervillain prison. He was known as a two bit superhero ten to fifteen years ago, called the Big Bad Man. <laughs> a big bad man. And he was not a great villain. And he's looking at it, it's like Doctor Bad Guy. I thought that <laughs> it would Bucky. take Hi, I'm Bob. He looks he goes, I have to say I'm impressed. I thought that it would take at least an hour of mayhem to get you to show up. Who are you? <laughs> I am I am I forgot his real name. Dr. Bad Guy! It's pronounced Badgy. I was thinking that! <laughs> My name is Jeremiah Moses. Oh. So known <laughs> as the Big Bad Man. Though I've decided to do a rebranding of sorts. You may call me Big Bad. Big Bad. Big Bad. And I am... You may call me the Big Bad Man. What a coincidence. We have a wolf. You're halfway there. <laughs> <laughs> Together well, you be the Big Bad Wolf. That's interesting, oh, I because okay. I am about to blow your right. entire house down. Not by the hair of my gunny gun gun. Who writes for you people? <laughs> what do you mean, you people? <laughs> right? What do you mean, you people? I just... I, I look at my database and... He just... likes to buy his stuff at the Big Bad Toy Store. Oh. Um, <laughs> Seven just made the joke. Yeah, I look. I look at like I look up in my database about him, and I just find several videos of like him like just fucking up being a villain. <laughs> yeah, he's not a really great. How? Uh, so ha 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 ha. He actually used to be also kind of like you know not fat, but I mean like not physically impressive. Yeah. However, you see him now, like in his like power, like in his like you know like trench coat, he looks to be bigger and buffer. Like he 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 uh, did not skip leg day in prison. Is this Kumali, the guy because you're kind of describing him now. I don't know who that is. Oh, that Indian actor who's going to be in a Marvel movie, like now he's super ripped. He, he was like a pudgy guy before and now he's super ripped. No, this guy kind of looks like, you know, the, the guy who was captaining the Kelvin in the beginning of the Star Trek reboot? Oh, yeah. yeah. Kind of like looks like that guy. Who was also in the MCU. Yeah. <laughs> For like a hot minute. Um, That's all it takes. But anyway, this it was... Trip. Well, so here's how this is going to work. What we have here is a rare opportunity. Your big protector, your trump card, your last contingency has been unconscious for about a week, hasn't she? How do you know that? I know everything. I may have not had quite so much luck in my earlier career, but I've learned a few things. Also learned how to predict an opportunity when it's coming. So really, there's nothing to stop me from destroying you, who are the best heroes of the city. Oh, Camille Nanjiani? Yeah, I love him. <laughs> yeah, and making the uh, making the city my own. Damn, these were just... Well, we're certainly not going to let you do anything to Pinnacle, and we're certainly not going to let you do anything, period, so... <laughs> you may be amateur superheroes, but you sure do talk like pros. It's part of the training. Yeah, I know. I so how training. are we going to do this? Do you want me to start killing civilians, or do you want me to start fighting you? Right what? at that fine becomes her, her second form, glowing. My sirens go off. No need to involve the innocent. Turn those off. Your, your, your sirens shut off, and you feel this earth thing come over you. Hmm. 
Attack the crowd. All of the police officers, they're all, all their eyes turn red and oh, they start God. attacking the civilians. Oh fuck. Oh, no. Oh, you're okay, so Techno Fox, like you you are you're going to roll to see if you can resist cuz you are you, basically I'm a bit more superior. A computer yeah. virus is being put into you. Shit. Damn you and your easily hackable drones. So Damn you, you Vendex. Okay. Uh, I told you to stop creating so many different applications dedicated to dabbing and to create more in terms of security. Uh, two, seven, three, and nine? Uh, you're keeping all three, so that'd be... F- uh, um, 19? You are struggling, but you are able to... Uh, you're going to miss a round of combat. Okay. But you are basically fighting to isolate the virus in your control system. Oh god, it's Metsubo so like, Jinrai. So I'm like the Terminator in Terminator 3, where he's just like resisting bashing the cards. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Heroes, d- d- Pinnacle, attack me. Attack me if you see me. And you see three people walk out of the crowd. It is three Singularity drones with their eyes glowing red. Fuck. Fun. He oh, managed to take oh, over shit. three of them, What the core one apparently still... And he's like, this is working out better than I thought. Now to take out your Techno Fox. And she looks just, what? Is that a virus? Is that what you call a virus in this world? I'm not, I'm not on an operating system that's even on your level. And Wait, is she a robot? No, but she's got a lot of alien technology. Her name is Techno Fox. Oh. She's kind of like a cyborg. Okay. Techno Fox. And she's like, my stuff is not, uh, not compatible. Uh, Chris, uh, you are, you, none of your stuff controls you, but you find a lot of your targeting systems and a lot of your kind of, you know, your, your systems are kind of, so I'm going to give you a, uh, um, a minus kept dice on any role that takes, that you would, is assisted by your onboard computer. Being, being organic um, is probably going to help here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm the opposite of technology. <laughs> I'm fluffy. So am I. I'm the exact opposite of technology. I got a bow and arrow. Joy. <laughs> We're fighting Jay, a bunch of robots, he takes and off I have his a bow and arrow. And None of this wearing, makes sense. He's wearing, like, this undersuit, like, this kind of, like, rubber under form-fitting undersuit, and he is that ripped, like that guy. Um, <laughs> but all on the top of the suit are these kind of, like, little wires that kind of are glowing as he takes the thing off, and they kind of hum. And he's got kind of like this, like control panel on one of his arms. He's like, "All right, so we're gonna do this." I so guess. I guess uh, talking this out like proper adults is out of the question. Oh, absolutely. I was just crowd, stalling though. long enough to insert a virus into the into the defense system of the city. You're a fucking asshole. <laughs> I'm a big bad asshole. And now I'm gonna blow your house down. Ooh, good line. So you're going to fart on it? <laughs> to death. Oh, um, that's, that's Wolf's first line. I told you, Wolf! Death fart. All right, if, you can't so, do a, uh, if you can't do a blow your house down to a wolf, then you, you just need to step up your game a little, okay? <laughs> Are we rolling in this Yep. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to roll for Blaze. Or Blaze, what do you mean a seven keep six roll? Uh, what? A seven keep six roll. So roll seven d tens and then. Uh, okay. Or do you want me to just roll it? Shit. Uh, I think I can do it. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. And we all roll Actually, seven. wait, no. Take this roll that I rolled. It's roll better it. than that. Okay, got that. What do we roll? That is. You got thirty-five. Seven d seven. Woo! Whatever One you're second. Doing. I'm at agile little camp girl. Hear me roar. All right, so uh, your it should say on the right hand side what your initiative is. Oh, uh, oh, five, two, four. Yeah, okay. you're pretty quick. Okay. Okay. I am an organic being, so I don't know if I have to. Roll. Maybe at some point I should have you no, send. No, you're rolling initiative. initiative. This is for oh, a speed. Okay. Oh. Um, Maybe at some point I should have you send me like a picture of my character uh, sheet, just so I can see what it says. Yeah, we'll start a little early on the chat next week, and we'll work on it. All right. Okay, so. Uh, um, okay, uh, should I say what I have? Uh, yeah, what's your... Mine is six, seven... We well, add the, your, whatever the kept dice is, you add that many of the highest numbers together. Um, I don't... Um. um what, okay, what are your highest numbers? Okay, I have, a six, seven... I have two sixes, I have a seven and an eight. Those are the highest numbers. Okay. Uh... 
What does your initiative say? Should have number keep number. Um, Some of your dice is on. Oh, right. I got it. Uh, midnight shoot. Mine is twenty-eight. Mr. Slight. Um, mine was forty-two actually. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Fuck Wildcat. <laughs> uh, Lane. Um. Oh, I didn't know I had the roll because I thought I was missing out on that. Oh no! Like, you, well, you still gonna be part of the order. So I'll just roll. I might paper. actually do mine using the Discord anyway. Uh, uh you're yeah. looking at twelve, so not that great. Because that uh, way you wolf. can see the numbers. Forty, forty-four. Someone yeah, screw you, Itchy. Better at math than wow. calculation. Uh, Prin is going to join us for combat. Uh, and, you were, and you were only keeping the whatever your initiative said to keep for that roll, right, so? Sorry? You were only keeping the dice you were supposed to keep, right? Like, what's your initiative? Oh, sorry, there? my bad. That's okay. what I thought. Alright, so then, uh, 40. Wow. It was, Still five, it was five keep four. Yeah. So I got ten, 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 like four. So. Well, then you should be. Ten, 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 four. If you roll tens, you should be keeping rolling them. Exploding. Oh. Yeah. I've have, already written it down. Don't worry about it. It's oh, fine. The point is, you're first. You're going first. Oh, okay. Uh, no. Chernobyl rolled uh, <laughs> four. The point is, you win. He also rolled four or something close to it. Well, then he a double. It was a four save, then a double. Jesus. Uh. Remember that time? Okay, so Dave used to play I was going to say, we're starting to sound like Dave here. Dave uh, used to play with us, and he would get these really ridiculously high rolls that were mathematically improbable. I brought my friend Alan and sat him next to Dave, and Alan is a math genius, and basically said that the chances of David rolling that dice were not only improbable, but impossible. He would have had to roll four tens six times to get the number that he came up with. Was he just counting them all? No, he no, was David was cheating. He was just a liar. He would yeah. do a thing where he yeah, would he, would, he would roll a dice, then immediately pick it up and say it was a ten before he could even look at it. If, yeah, if it's I, called dice picking. If I screw up, it'll always just be because I'm terrible at math. Um, I reckon in mind, Dave actually, when he was uh, you know engaged, he was uh, uh like engaged in the game, uh, was actually not a bad role player. Uh, all right, Chernobyl's gonna go first. Chernobyl. And she goes, let me show you how we do this in the old country. <laughs> in the old country. For Mother Russia. She hits. Uh, so basically, she puts her hands together in a huge beam, and it's you can't even look at it. Like it, it's like it. You know, anyone who's not filtered in your eyes, like you gotta flinch away from it. Hits him and just like encases him in like this like like sheath of, of radioactive fire that glows hot for a second, and then she powers down. She's like struggling to contain her powers, and. Then you hear a slow clap, and as the thing clears, he's standing there, like, and there's steam around him, but not coming from him. That was actually impressive. That was what fifteen rads, not bad, but not terrible. Pretty rad. That's a joke from the Chernobyl miniseries. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I uh, honestly, would do you think I would come out here and challenge you if I didn't know what you were capable of? I have contingencies for each one of you. It's really not a big deal. Okay, Batman. <laughs> and he just goes, next. He actually says next. Next. Wolf. All right, um, I go with uh, this. I'm going to kind of like try hand to hand. So that would be under athletics, right? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to like. Like, cause you know, I'm real super fucking fast, right? Go up and like, I'm just gonna try to like. Unless you have like jujitsu or some other fighting skill on your sheet. Sorry, what? Unless you have like jujitsu or some other fighting. I gave him axe fighting, which I just roll everything under that. No, okay. no. Axe. Fighting. Well, no, because <laughs> your axe fighting would be it's the literal same stat, you know, for your uh, hand to hand. Okay. So you're rolling to hit first, which is yeah. the. You see in the bottom right hand, the bottom left hand corner, I have, I have your weapon listed. Yeah. You Ten. roll the first one, then yeah. the second one. Yeah, and I think yeah. it's the same number, too. No, it is. Yeah, that's why I'm doing that. Um, sorry, I'm doing the math in my yeah. head. Yeah. He's, he's literally patiently waiting for you for somebody to attack you. <laughs> if you wanted, you could go into the Discord server and use the bot as well. I, I don't have, like, Discord down on my phone. Like, you can use the browser. I don't want to okay, I'm just suggesting. Do I want to roll for you real quick? Yeah, yeah, that, what is the number? Uh, 10, 9, 9, 9. Like, no, I'm just... Do you mean, like, adding up... Oh, no, head? I was going to roll it for you. Oh, no, I, I roll. I was just adding it up in 10, my head. 9... Yeah, you hit. Okay. Roll your damage. Do you want me to roll your damage for you? Yeah, sure. It's 10 keep what? So It's uh 10 keep 4. Yeah. 
You have the smite. Where, what should we have for smite? The giant D10. Or the giant D12. Cool. No, this is like a D... D like 14. Oh, yeah. 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 That's the smite. The smice. Yeah, but don't actually roll it. Oh, I thought you said roll it. No, no, you hang on to it until <laughs> no. somebody else gets oh, it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right. Uh, you do... <laughs> 49 damage to him. So you just cut into him with your uh, like you cut with your uh, uh, it's basically like he actually steps back like one step uh, as you hit and as you jump back kind of like to get a counterattack you look back and though you're sure you hit him you can't tell how much damage you've done. Mm-hmm. Like you haven't cut any pieces off or anything. Oh. He, it was like hitting Well again I wasn't using my yeah. axe though. So. Oh well you hit him really hard. Yeah. Uh, you, you literally you felt the impact of you hitting him, but you can't tell how hurt he is. Mm-hmm. But you did feel a lot of resistance. Mm-hmm. We're all tired, Mister Slade. What's around him right now? Uh, a bunch of civilians being attacked. Oh yeah, by the way, there's civilians attacking robots, and they are kicking ass. You, somebody might consider doing something about that. Civilians attacking robots or robots? No, the ro- there's literally twenty robot policemen uh, attacking the crowd. Can Fine go and help the civilians? Yep. How am I doing? Well, on your turn. Okay. Uh, you're fine now. Okay. Then I go I go help stop my... Well, well my right brothers. now it's Itchy's turn. Okay. Or no, sorry, uh, Paul's turn. You can't all do a thing at once. Oh, sorry. Uh, Paul, what are you going to do? Well if, I, well, if he's got contingencies for all of us, those robot police officers are just robots, so I'm going to try and take one of them out. Yep. Alright, I'm sorry, Lane. No, oh, that's okay. I they understand. built you to be not, a lot I, I'm gonna make sure that it's not Lane. Yeah. It's very scary, actually. <laughs> you fail your roll. You hit Lane! <laughs> Ow. Is that scene in the factory? I don't wanna hit Lane. Lane. Lane, could she find me a beverage or something? Of course. Grab me a pop as well, please. Yes. Lane's on a mission. You too, well, I mean, Lane, while you're out, can we get a cappuccino? <laughs> Sure. <laughs> 32. Always. Wait, can you run McDonald's for me? 32 no. to hit. 32 to hit. That will hit. Okay. Thank you, everyone. A piping hot Americano. <laughs> okay. uh, Diet Pepsi and 7 Up. Ooh. Ew, I'll take the crow juice. Where's my cappuccino? Um, we're out. It's on call. Okay. It's up. It's up. <laughs> I am a policeman, not a cappuccino maker. <laughs> That's negative thinking. <laughs> The panel on your uh, side that has a, the panel on the side of your chest that has a cappuccino machine slowly slides. Coffee close. starts pouring out of my mouth. I mean, well, brown liquid will come out, but I wouldn't advise drinking it. <laughs> Thirty-five damage. All right, um, you literally snap, and the head pops off one of them, and it collapses Sweet. to the ground. So it's just like <laughs> Lane, one of your brothers has been killed, but I'm very sorry. They can be rebuilt. Nah! The soul is in their no. heart. No, I, I have no feelings for my brethren. <laughs> no! Wildcat! Wildcat! We call, them, we call those robots Wildcat. the Court of Officers. Uh, you make uh, a cat. Do the robots have any, like, like known. Do they have any area I could like, potentially shoot at with a taser or, or something? Any shorts or. Uh, their core processing unit and their chest. Pull the sword from the lane. All right, I'm guessing that's not really revi- very revealed. No, they're they're designed for not to be shut down that easily. You'd have to go for a kill okay. shot. I mean, they are like lane, right? It's a kill shot. Well, lane's per- his his core is protected. Yep, and lane is also much stronger than the I standard love. issue model. Um, he's not just a grunt. I know. He's the thirteenth model. You still dancing? Oh, I'm not sure. Is there a way I could, could I go run to help people, but I'm on my way shoot uh, a shock arrow at a uh, at the guy. So you're gonna like run. So your next attack, you're at the the guys where you're gonna sh- kind of shoot as you go. Yes, go, you can do that. Go, go, go. All right, I'm gonna aim. I'm gonna try aim for the guy's head because he's. All right, I'm gonna roll for you. Oh yeah, that's a fucking that's a, that's a that's a, a yeah, cool. oh. Is it cool if my character was like Inspector Gadget? <laughs> go, go gadget skis. Uh, the smite belongs to uh, Blaze, but you can still hang Woo! on to it. You hold on to it in his proxy. Um, or you can just put it on his table. And you know what, Luigi? Luigi's Blaze. <laughs> so Luigi's holding <laughs> the smite. Uh, the arrow. Um, basically, the uh, the things light up as the as the arrow hits, and the things seem to absorb the uh, the uh, the energy from the stun arrow. 
Okay. Um, midnight shoot. Um, hmm. So you said he had a control panel on his wrist, right? Yep. I'm going to attempt to use an explosive shot to damage his device. Okay. Alrighty. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Number 13. The bandolier is just helping this. <laughs> like, yeah, I kind of want to just keep this on Luigi forever. <laughs> It's two times. Wait, the there's is no time. You, you stupid, stupid monkey. monkey! You stupid wildcat! Cars here. Don't you dare talk to wildcat like that. Huh? Nobody puts wildcat in the corner. <laughs> 36 to hit. 36 to hit? Yeah. That will hit. Do I, am I rolling damage? Yep. Okay. Hawkeye. What was the modifier on the explosive round? I will be. Oh, uh, it should be on the back of your sheet. Uh, times three. Okay. Times three? Yep, that's what I have. Jesus. That's huge. Or, you know, no, I think the times three is how many uses of it I have, and then there's five, keep five. Ah. That's the extra damage. Alrighty. Okay. Extra damage. So that's twenty. I got smite. Hand it over, Luigi. <laughs> my explosive, my explosive <laughs> bonus to <laughs> smite. Wow! Wowie, wowie. Luigi Mario 62. Oh it's Mario Mario and Luigi Mario. That's 67 total damage. Alright, an explosion goes around. He actually gets pushed back several feet, but as the smoke clears, he still has the control panel and it is oh, still active. Crap. Damn it. I had to try. He's just like Luke Skywalker for the last <laughs> shade. Just... Yeah, he dusts himself off. <laughs> he dusts off. himself off. Fine. I had to try. Find a dessus. You must find a way. Yes. Find decides to help. <laughs> That's great. Find decides to help go and help the civilians. How many can she pick up? Are oh, you just going to grab a few to safety? Yes. Uh, I would say, like, uh, you got prehensile feet. I can say you grab four. Oh, sweet. So you're just going to fly them out of the harm's yes. way. All right, that's perfect. Yeah, there's some that got, like... People that like can't either get out or or like you know like kids or older you know. Yeah, you know, fine comes in and tells them grab on. I will take you. I'll take you to see. Yeah, so you fly a bunch of them out. Uh, I can't believe I forgot this. Kids, I can fly twice as high. Demon Queen. Take a look. It's in a book. <laughs> take a look. We'll beat this. Robot book. murder. Robot murder. <laughs> we'll beat this. Book. Yeah. It's robot murder. <laughs> Oh, okay, I forgot about Fugler Demon Queen. So oh can I could I just retroactively say that I was hitting the Give me that uh, spike. Wildcat is running towards the children to protect them. Yeah. Alright, so Demon Queen walks in and slugs him twice, like full hit, and he staggers back each time, but he's still up. Like he just took two full on punches from Demon Queen. Hmm. Oh my god. What is Wait. So what does this have to do with the mission? <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna do that this week. I kind of I don't know. Kind of Blaze was like I don't know. Like kind of like it's like I don't want it to become the focus, and I'm kind of worried about it. I mean, don't, I, I guess I, like I said also in that it's like it, your cast is your baby. You do what you. I'm still deciding. It was gonna happen later. It still might happen. It might not happen. Um, All right. Prin. Reaches her hands out. Last time I was and, a like, superhero demon, energy blades it did well, not end well. Okay. Energy blades appear in her hands, and uh, she kills. Uh, she takes out three corrupted police officers. She is moving very quick and very precise. And Lane, you will notice that she literally is severing the heads at the top where the head connects to the processing unit. Mm. Literally, uh. Only an expert would know how to do that. Okay. 
basically the minimal amount of effort with the maximum amount of damage. Mm. Oh no, L's 3, 5, and 8. Yeah. My brothers. Lane, this is your turn. Okay. Um, so I attempt to, because I'm a bit superior and I'm a bit more knowledgeable with, like, because, like, they're a bit more older models than me, like, probably, like, one model down, I'm assuming, I try to reprogram them back so they stop attacking and they attack, uh, the other person instead. Programming! So, like, I try to, like, like I don't know, can I make, like, a hive a... network of, like, to connect right. to the other... That would be a stat roll, wouldn't it? Unless you have a hacking skill? Um... You could do one at a time. Unfortunately, right now, if you connect to the network, you're going to have to resist the virus again. Okay. And then I can try again. All right. Could you not hardwire do it one at a time? Yeah, you can hardwire one at a time. Okay. Plug in. Then, so I'll, then, then yeah. Tentacles. So I try to I try to re like re attempt to help one of my right, straight up. Uh, I'd say straight up intelligence roll. Okay. Uh, so how many is that? Uh, one, two, one two, two keep two. My intelligence. Uh, you connect to each one through USB. You can shut them down, but you can't turn them to your side. Okay. Uh, okay. So yeah, tell better a non-combatant than a threat. Yeah. yeah. I see him go. <laughs> 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 you think that exact set? <laughs> no, no, just pack it. <laughs> no, it just makes the water drop. <laughs> oh, that was audible. Yeah, that was pretty good. Excellent. I'm really good at that. I know you are. Uh, okay. Speaking of Audible, don't forget to use our Skip the Dishes code. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking asshole. <laughs> S- skip the skip the pages. <laughs> skip, yeah, skip the pages. You know, you know, you know. It's good to have food when you're playing Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> <laughs> no one plays that. No, I'm actually curious. About it. I want. I want to play it on. Stadia. I want to play it on Stadia. Oh it's, God. And speaking of games that end in Of Legends, Leak! Oh boy. Oh, I gotta, I gotta wonder if they're in the Shadow same Legends. universe. <laughs> One time no, I, it's not Raid Shadow of Legends. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> one time I actually saw Ferris Wheeler's Day Off in the theater. I thought you were about to say one time I actually saw League of Legends. I thought you were going to say you actually saw Raid One time I saw a Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> oh, Lane is actually installing it. Oh no! And now, back no, to Shadow Legends. Lane, you need to use the code. Yeah. Oh yeah, which code do I use? There's like 50 YouTubers who fucking use the same thing. Use Jontrons. Now I'll, um, I'll use uh, Gerard's. Whichever. Use ours. <laughs> <laughs> why, are we, why are we po- fucking awesome? Well, you got the app. Make one. Hmm. Oh, I love the Stadia tan. Maybe no ladies. She's yeah, cute. Too, too bad she represents such garbage movie. platform. Was happening. She is literally just in the back like the of actually the doing it with the movie. Continuing, though. So anyway, he goes to step forward and he grabs uh, Chernobyl by the neck and he looks like he's about to punch. Like... And all of a sudden he stops. And you see Prin reaching her hand out. You see this energy. He's too powerful. I need your help. Who's help? We need to find out where he got this powerful. We need to figure out a way to fight him. Because this is where he kills Chernobyl and Chernobyl destroys the city. Oh, fuck. You can predict these things? Uh, yeah. But you gotta trust me here. We need to go to. We need to track down where he got his powers. While he was in prison, he supposedly made several temporal trips to other realities and brought back technology and powers. And as you can see, he's invulnerable. Fuck. I can. I'm not sure where these will lead, but I can take you to these worlds. And if we can find out what he did, we can maybe figure out a way to fight him. But if he. If I let go and we continue this moment, he will kill Chernobyl and she will go supernova. It'll be a 20 megaton explosion, which is enough to wipe out the city and half the surrounding area instantly. Shit. Beyond that, people will slowly die of radiation poisoning. And then beyond that, we'll have perfectly cooked pizzas. (laughs) I knew he was going to do that. (laughs) Uh, You see this like little temporal portal open up behind her. You can come through. I'll follow you through. It might be a delay, but I'll find you. Guys. Perfectly cooked pizzas, though. Yes, but we're in the... We're in the killed instantly so can't eat pizza zone. Mr. Slight, come on. I'm only joking. Come on. Yeah, Mr. Slight. Well, technically you would survive the blast. Because, you know. 
<laughs> oh. with want to destroy the world and not Wait, rule what? it. No, this is where you should have had your own catchphrase. No. I'm joking. Do I, Only what do I know? Why would slightly. I survive? <laughs> um, this is a theory. Paul, do you want to say Magic. Anyway, let's go through the portal. I can't hold it much longer. After you, Paul, after you were making that comment about the pizza, you should have busted out a catchphrase. It's okay, I'm only joking. Only slightly. <laughs> no! <laughs> Alright, we go through the portal. Alright. So Onwards and over. It hey. is, well, we were kind of like in the evening before. It is now broad daylight where we are. When we are in a city. What is this, an Ed Wood movie? I, yeah. Alice will be the last person to run through. She then runs through the portal. Uh, as you run through, like, it's kind of like you're, you're kind of like you're dazed for a second. The only people, uh, Chernobyl obviously doesn't go through, Technofox doesn't go through. Um, all of us do, though. All of the main characters go through. The protagonists. Protagonist. Protagonist. Uh, the worst thing to do, you damn well better go better install some better security on your drones. Yep. That would be best. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I had to talk to my creator about that. There's someone there is the creator. Uh, you see a bunch of people. Songs. You see a bunch of people run past you, screaming. Then ah! they run right past us. They continue on. What did we travel like five minutes into the past? Did they not see us? <laughs> no, they see us. They're just running from something. They're just running from something bigger and more intimidating than us. One of them looks up at you. You're not one of them, are you? Hey, depends what them are. Probably not. Uh, Demon Queen uh, turns back into Dylan. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh. And they're like, oh, okay, keep going. Oh, shit, I shouldn't have done that. That's what... Well, it's another dimension, isn't it? They don't know who I am here. <laughs> yeah. We're in another dimension. Oh, boy. Unless another there's... dimension. Another, another dimension. dimension. You, hear, you, you hear what sounds like a rocket coming toward you. And this strange figure lands wearing full battle armor. And stands up. And the little faceplate opens up. Who the hell are you guys? Is no one answer him? <laughs> if this is an anime convention, uh, if this is an anime convention, you have to tell me. No, no, no we're here. He's totally cast. Stark. I don't know what that is. No, of course you don't. We're in another dimension. Okay. Uh, the Silent Age of Film called. They want you back. Well, the stupid age of you called and shut up. Mr. Slate, wow. stop it. I think to be... That was only slightly funny. <laughs> Alright, Furby. <laughs> Alright, Furby, calm down. Are you guys I from there? I'm Furby like that. <laughs> I'm fairly certain we're superheroes from another dimension. What's a Furby? Okay. Uh, that, that's what this is. I know you think that that makes it unreasonable, but this is literally the day of things coming from another mansion. Can I bring you to Exhibit A? He points to the sky, and there's this big portal right above right above uh, uh, one of the skyscrapers, and things are coming out. That explains so much, and yet so Because this is kind of a day where visitors from another planet are coming in, and they're not very friendly. So if you guys aren't going to be friendly, you start now so I can start blasting you. That explains why the teleport fee was so cheap. Well then, let's uh, then let's get the introductions and guys. guys. Let's just go take those things out, shall we? You want you want help? Okay. Speaking my language. Yes. Uh, that would be great. So, human? Not you're not human. Human robot. Are you a full? Are you an autonomous AI robot? Yes. How do you feel? Eh. <laughs> human, oh, not human. Human robot cat girl. Jarvis, uh, do a uh, do a full scan. Oh I knew it. I knew, this is Avengers. Yeah. So this creature, my character just responds, marvelous. <laughs> this creature runs in, and it's like this weird kind of like Marvel. armored alien guy, <laughs> armored alien guy in a mask. Almost like a the guy turns and he shoots like a laser beam out of his hand, and he goes, "All right, see that guy." See anyone that looked like him, dressed like him, go to the same school as him? Kill them. That's racist, but all right. That's racist. Hey, man. I'm, I'm, all, I'm all about people coming to this country for a new new thing. But if it's... I, I have no problem with legal aliens. Actual aliens, I take it as I see it. All right? Just... Got it. Fight anyone who's not wearing a primer. <laughs> if we see space whales, we'll shoot them down. Let's go. Space whales. So he uh, he takes off and he starts flying around shooting at stuff, uh, and uh, oh, there's gonna be a guy who makes a fucking bird costume out of this shit. 
So this dimension also has heroes. It yeah. would it would it seem bad. so. It was bound to happen. I mean, like, no, most dimensions probably do. This like large, we have to do uh, have this to large, uh, a bunch of them are running toward us, and a large figure leaps in, screams, smashes them, and then looks at us. <gasps> no. It is a large green man. Mm, right. We're with the guy in the robot suit. Don't worry. <sighs> Don't worry. We're friends from work. You know the really, <laughs> the really well groomed man. He's he's cool with us. Heroes. The man in the oh, red yes. robot suit who speaks sarcastically likes us. We're heroes. Puny heroes. Oh, Dylan turns into de- Demon Queen. Oh, sweet. <laughs> he goes, mm, and then jumps off. <laughs> a big monster. <laughs> hey, I figure as long as none of all that we have said the names. However, how much money are we making on this show? <laughs> it, well, uh, none. Yeah, well... Unless anyone skips the dishes, we're making nothing. So yeah. technically, we're not going to get anything. We're not even going to cease and desist. Unless we keep singing the theme song, then we'll get in shit for you. Yeah. For more than seven seconds. That was long enough. <laughs> we need to sing the theme song, but we need to skip every other beat. Yeah. Yeah. Skip the D notes. It's the it's the it's the jurors. Now I'm now I'm super curious. Iron, iron, iron man. God damn it, guys in costume. The Avengers of the Caribbean. All right, do we want do we want to do we want to go into plot description mode for a bit like we did last week last time, whereas we kind of describe what we're doing, not individual roles for more plot. Yeah, sure. Now I'm more curious what specifically we're going to get copyright zapped for rather than if. <laughs> <laughs> but I no, each we're, we're just not fi- making money. It's we're we're fine. fighting no. with Steve Alloy. Person also, and- <laughs> Steve. No, but yeah, these are Post in the comments which song you think will get copyright Tony zapped. Stank? For. This isn't actually the <laughs> fighting with Metal like Boy and the Hun. No, uh, this <laughs> is fighting with the it's the Infragable Friends. Oh. You're just it's your glory Val Helen and the Infragable. It's just a, a dimension. Anyway, so uh, as we move on, there are dozens upon, or like hundreds of these. Disclaimer: things. This is just a similar thing. It's not like like none of this is intended to be to be in any way. We are not in any way affiliated with Marvel or Disney. But we'd like to be. We'd like to be. We'd love to be. <laughs> be for All right, midnight. Sh- we're gonna go just <laughs> down from the top. Uh, Itchy, what is your character gonna do? Sorry, I'm so, in the middle of this. So, what battle. type of like alien enemies are we dealing with? Here? Uh well, you've the got Chitauri, Chitauri, Chitauri soldiers. You have the big, huge ones. The you whales. The the whale thing. Some then, of them flying around on sleds. Then then I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be working on shooting the rank and file out of the sky. All right. So, so I'm just like blow, blow, blow. I can blow. snap a few out of the sky myself. This guy behind, this guy behind goes, not bad. You're a pretty good shot. Thanks. Check this out. And he fires blindly, and an arrow hits a guy, and it explodes. Cool. Check that out. Wow. I used to shoot arrows when I was a kid. Oh man. Oh oh. oh. How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> like twenty-seven okay. in the game. All right. Uh, <laughs> Bit over twenty. I'm gonna call you Falcon Sight. <laughs> uh, the, uh, basically, you see a blonde guy throw a hammer, and it hits a bunch of things. So, and comes back to his head. Are, are, I'll call you the Carpenter. I look, at, I look at like my I look at my own weapon. And I go, seems familiar now. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, the unstoppable hunk, Zeus, General USA, Brown Recluse, and Falcon Sight. <laughs> this is like Thor just miss miss. Uh, Things, All right, mistakes, um, uh, self Demon me. Queen seems to be moving faster than you have ever seen her move before. Like, she is just... Like, Hard- you saw her push herself further than she's ever pushed herself versus the army last time. Harder, better, faster, Yeah, she stronger? seems to have gotten a lot better and a lot stronger. And yeah, she is wow. just throwing these fucking things around like rag dolls. At one point, she throws I'm one up. so hard, it goes through one of the whales. Oh, wow. <laughs> And this guy, this, the, the blonde guy, looks he's like, now that is a woman. Another! <laughs> <laughs> and she goes, hey, Fabio, do you mind throwing that over there? And he throws his hammer, she grabs it, and is pulled through the air to a bunch of civilians surrounded, lands and starts beating the shit as the hammer comes back. 
basically kept, you know, took a ride on the hammer. Mm. Uh, which is called Mjolnir. By the way, Thor, we can say, because that's a public domain character, technically. Mm-hmm. But we can't we're not making money on this. But it's not that. Funny. No, we've already called. We already said is that Tony Stark. We've I said Chitari, guys. <laughs> he's like bleep the episode. Wait, My so you're Thor. telling me he's Thor? Yeah, that's Thor. Oh, that hurts. Thank you. Oh, it hurt. <laughs> Fine. What are you doing? Oh. Sorry, I thought you were just saying find the word. I can't, <laughs> yeah. I can't believe I fell, I fell for my own Yeah, you fell for your joke. own thing. You've been hoisted by your own baton. Basically. Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> what are you going to do? Okay, fine is honestly kind of having a bit of a trauma flashback right now because of the alien invasion. Yes, yeah, your second alien invasion in two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> but fine once, once again. Fine Third flies, in a lifetime. Fine flies up to see what's going on with the giant space whale thing. Uh, they are flying around. They seem to be making a defensive perimeter around this one tower with a big A on it. So, do you think I, I can I can get past them? Yeah. Okay. They're not really paying you much attention. They you do fly think... in your small form. None of them will. Yeah, even they see don't you. think you're a threat. Yeah. They think you're a Furby. Yeah. The weird thing is that I was in my big form, and he called me a Furby. So that means I guess I changed back to my small form. We went through the portal. So, um, let's say I'm in my small form still. Um, so I can fly in that form, just yeah. very very badly. So I wouldn't say bad though, I'd say slowly. It's about quantity, not quality. Yes, yeah, so yeah. I noticed that they are in fact appear to be defending this tower. So I decide to go towards it and check it out. Alright, you see a very attractive man with long brown hair standing at the top, uh looking to be guiding various parts of the battle. I squint. Well you see a very you, you see this guy dressed in green with a scepter that's really badass. Uh yeah. It's Loki. I, 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 <laughs> no, it's Tom Hilston. No, it's, Tom, no, it's literally Tom Hilston. No, it's high key. No, we're no longer being very low key about this. Oh, no. shut up. I was just saying, we <laughs> call this one high key. Yes. No, we're not making no, money no, on it, this. It doesn't matter. It's Poseidon. Can I talk into his I hate Zeus. Sorry? Can I, can I mind communicate with him? You can try. I, I try. He does have the mind stone with him. Yeah, he's got the mind stone on him. <laughs> he looks to you, he immediately looks, he goes, well, who exactly are you? You're not from here, are you? Who is this You're from in my neighborhood. <laughs> You've come here with a group of your heroes. It's a lot to assume. No, he's got the mind stone. He's literally reading God his mind. damn it, fine. Oh. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm, th- that's what I'm thinking. Fine. Well, <laughs> I really don't see how well your friends are going to have when they're fighting you again. <laughs> and it doesn't work though because you have been fighting very hard to make it so you're never mind controlled again yeah and he goes why, why does that keep happening <laughs> because Thanos said that this thing would change anybody and then I immediately fine can change glows turns into her super form you, you just respond with I'm not anybody yeah <laughs> no it's because he said it could change anybody and said I can yeah. change oh that's good. maybe you but should skip edition well if I can change and you can change anybody can change I hear a voice from behind you familiar voice it's uh, Prin she has these like energy wings Prin we need to keep that out of the wrong hands that scepter he's holding not his but we need to keep it out of bad man's hands Batman took that scepter? No, I think he might be after it. Mr. Slight. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, everything just starts to slow down. And you hear a voice going, I was not aware of such a powerful disturbance anywhere in this city. You have powers that theoretically could rival mine, the Sorcerer Supreme. You turn around, you see a bald woman in a tan robe. Oh, hell yeah! I mean, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's oh, the it's, ancient it's one. Lady. It's lady. Oh, God. Hmm. Oh, no, God, that's me. terrible. Looks like there are magic users here, too. Nice to meet you. I am known as the ancient the incredible one. Incredible lady I'm woman. I'm Mr. Slight, but my real name is Philip Marduk. Nice to meet you. Marduk? Is that your family name? Yes. Are you at all related to Marduk the Magnificent? I don't like to talk about that. <laughs> He's been here before. <laughs> Are you perhaps he took related something. to Martin the Martin? Something that I think you don't realize he's given to you. Are you perhaps related to Donald Duck? <laughs> he never gave me anything but a bad reputation, but sure. 
Why not? Someday, when you are willing to embrace what's, with, what's within you, you will learn the true secret of your bloodline. Until then, I think you have work to do. And a bunch of Tatari are running towards you. <laughs> and she's gone. All right. I'm using the full Endgame list of, like, because Endgame made it canon that the Ancient One was at this battle. Yeah. 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 Yeah, she was. She was basically. She asked for projecting her socks to your position. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. She was fighting. I know that. Yeah. So, do you remember the last time I did that thing where I brought my hands together up above yeah. my head and snapped forward in like a like a wider reaching wave sort of thing? Yeah. I'm gonna try for that. All right. They were having fun with this uh, craziness. Oh, yeah. this is great. For your attack or damage? Uh, Yeet! For my attack. Oh god. Smite is only on damage. Oh, it's only on damage. Sorry about that. Okay. I already yeeted it. We're gonna let it go this time. Because oh. I, I can't unyeet. T! <laughs> T! Yeah, the opposite of yeet. The reverse yeet. 46. And you wanna grab attack? Oh, yeah. what do I do? I'm gonna say just a Cash bunch of them ball. explode. Oh, I, I got That's why I said it's your attack. A, bu- a bunch of them are they just go. Pfft. Okay. I thought I was gonna get to eat it. <laughs> okay, sure. Lane, yo, with that. what what do you got on you? What are you gonna do? Um, I'm gonna team up with uh, the the armored clad warrior. What about me? With the, with the AI. We'll get to you. Okay, He's sorry. Like, I thought. All right, there, Johnny Five. Let's go do this. My name is Ella Thirteen. <laughs> All right. Don't don't let me don't don't make me go Kyle Reese on you. Then 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 he goes. Oh boy, I hope I never have to deal with robots after this. <laughs> All right, listen. I need you to go down to that thing, I, that area down there by the street, created perimeter. I don't want anyone accidentally running down the street while we're doing what we're doing. Affirmative. I just I I just give him a tab. He just looks at me like. What? <laughs> so basically, you're kind of like going at uh, you know going at the uh, like basically fighting them you know to keep them you know the street clear. Yeah. And you realize that uh, the man in the iron suit, the Iron Man, is uh, uh, literally just firing repulsor blasts around, and it would be dangerous if anyone was too close. Yeah. Because he doesn't want collateral damage. The car would have the inspiration for Ultron. <laughs> 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 I'm responsible for the Iron Legion. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! So, Wolf, you're fighting a bunch of them. One of them gets the drop on you. Mm-hmm. And he's leaping up. He's about to stab you with some kind of, like, blaster weapon that's also a bayonet. <laughs> well, their weapons, it's very not... They, they swing them. They shoot them. It and, slices. It dices. It chicken fried rices. Uh, and then a shield comes out of nowhere and takes his... Uh, like, just totally fucking annihilates him and then comes back. And you see a man dressed like an American flag. I thought you were just going to say dressed like an American <laughs> Every American dresses this way. I you were you know, I, I, That's the only difference in this universe. It's just a taste of the Hey, that's Captain the America. Ass of America. Hey, are you on our side? Of course, you. Yeah. Alright there, soldier, I need your help. How about we watch each other's back? I think I think that works. Because I'm just just a regular guy trying to do his part. <laughs> I could do this right. all day! <laughs> And he seems like defying physics. Wherever he throws the shield, it comes, it bounces off four things and comes back. And you can do that with your thing. Like you just basically you're just throwing throwing your shit at people. Oh, and it yeah. comes back. Well, no, I was literally like when he said, "Are you ready?" I was like, "That's when I actually pulled out my axe." Like, like let's do this. And I just want to say to you guys, like plot thing here. The reason I was quiet earlier is because like I don't know you people yet, right? Yeah. yeah. I want, but then when I saw like just how quick you were to fight the uh, big bad guy, whatever his name was, and like mm. rescue the people, I was like, these are good guys. Okay, well, yeah, yeah, I can work with these guys. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're lovable. No, this is lovable misfits. <laughs> you know why we're gonna win? Because we're the lovable misfits that yeah. everyone cheers for. We're the happy go lucky worm. That's our new name, the lovable misfits. <laughs> All right, a robot so, who spills spits coffee. Wildcat, you're shooting arrows, <laughs> and you hear a person goes, "All right, Clint, we gotta go." You're not Clint. Who the hell are you? And this is red. It's Black Widow. She thought she saw some arrows <laughs> being fired and thought that you were thought you were Hawkeye. Name of Hawkeye. Wait, you have uh, hair. Yeah. Long story short, other dimension bullshit's happening. That seems to be happening a lot today. You know, we got that big green guy over there. Yeah, I noticed. I met him. He seems nice. Yeah, that's Bruce. He's a good guy. 
Uh, you seem to have one, too. The giant orange girl. It's kind of cute. Yeah. I don't suppose your guy is a mild-mannered scientist as well. <laughs> I mean, he, he seems pretty mild-mannered, but I mean, I don't think he's a scientist. All right, I was joking. That's amazing. Let's keep fighting. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, like... She's doing the thing where she's, like, fighting, you know, with, uh, you know, as if you were Hawkeye. She's actually very good, seemingly yeah. very good, fighting next to an archer. Mm. You don't know how she got that skill. <laughs> uh, Chernobyl is still frozen in our reality. Um, Prin is fighting Loki hand-to-hand and actually holding her own. Um, Loki's got the scepter... And is kind of, like, fighting back and forth. And she actually, like, kicks him, like, as she kicks, armor appears on her leg. And she knocks him back. And the the staff goes sliding right to the feet of a much less formidable looking, um, nice. Much more, much less formidable looking Big Bad. And he picks up the staff. And you see him hold a device over it. And Prin goes, no! Like, she, like, shouts. And then he smiles and goes, oh, I know what your weakness is. And he disappears into a portal. Hmm. So basically as stuff going on, uh, Prin just stops and she turns to fine. Yes. We screwed up. We have to keep, we have to follow him again. I wasn't quick enough. Okay. I'll go after him if you want me to. I need you to focus on all of your friends so I can pull them through the next portal. Can you reach out to all of, can you reach out to the robot guy? Yes, I can reach out even to him. He's actually my closest friend. Oh, okay. So basically all of you as your... Uh, I didn't intend for us to do like a whole long thing in each world. Um, oh, okay. So basically you see portals uh, going behind us. And everyone's kind of like... People are kind of looking like they nod. Like uh, Cap nods to Wolf and says, Thanks for the help, soldier. Uh, Iron Man says like, Are you protected by patent copyright? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> No. Not in this universe. <laughs> Nervous laughter due to wondering if this is disrespectful. Uh, so basically we all disappear through another portal. Here and we it, go! And it's nighttime again. And you see a bunch of other superheroes fighting creatures in the street. They are huge and kind of mutated. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, the soul, and the superheroes are having problems fighting back. Um, so describe what we're seeing. Okay, so I only have like 10 minutes when my dad's going to get here. Um, should I be here for this whole thing or do you want to... Uh, we can just say, you, I think you had the biggest plot's relevance in the last thing. If so you want, you... I can drive you home when you'd love to drive these to home. Well, well I've, my, I've already asked for my, my dad for a ride a okay. while ago. He's going to be here soon. So I'd say that one is you, you're realizing that there's some kind of magic thing within you that's kind of potent. So I think I think you're good if to leave any time. You know what I could you know what I could do? I could just say, like, you know, before you guys leave I You could, you end up going through a different portal and I end have, up somewhere else. I could also say I have more questions for the ancient one. Um Well we're leaving to the next portal. Oh so. okay. The, you know what? Yeah, I'll I'll go you know if you if you want to just roll for me. I'll just, I'll, I'm not going to roll for it, I'm just going to say what your character's doing. Okay, sure, sure, sure. All sure, right, sure. so yeah. anyway, in the next world, you see, like, there's a bunch of these creatures, civilians are, are fighting them, and you see other heroes, none of which we recognize, but they're all wearing <laughs> superhero costumes. Mm-hmm. But they're all fighting these weird creatures. Some of them have wings, some of them have beaks, some of them have brains sticking out of their head. Like, they're just, like, sieging the downtown core. Oh, God, I know what it is. Midnight Shoot, you're up first. Uh, okay. I'm still sort of figuring out who's who here, so... There's Cronenbergs. <laughs> it's freaking Morty? I was going to be one of the universes, but I thought <laughs> that would be too weird. <laughs> um, no. What are you guys, some kind of group of superheroes? It's one of the least weird, because every universe is accessible for Rick and Morty. Yep. Uh, so I guess... Beaks and exposed brains, huh? So I guess since... Anybody got shock absorption? Mars attacks? No. I guess since the reason we stepped through this portal was to follow, was to follow yeah, Big Bad, yeah. I think we should follow yeah. that, that immaculately. Then I man. begin looking for him. All right, you're gonna do. Give me a search check. I have investigation. Right. 
Nine. You don't see him. Nine, 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 nine. Uh, Demon Queen is going to charge forward and starts fist fighting these things. Though it seems some of them are hurt, some of them get are able to take it. Like, literally, she's just, like, duking it out with these creatures. They seem mindless, like they're filled with rage. <laughs> I think Blaze Sorry. knows where we are. You figured out where we are? Don't say it if you do. Anyway, uh, basically, uh, uh, Demon Queen is holding them at bay. Uh, you see, like this other, you know, like the other superheroes start regrouping. Uh, fine. Yes. Your turn. Okay. Um, can I see if I can sense the guy who's running from us? Uh, yeah. Give me a straight up void roll. Okay. Um, how do I do? What's your void on your sheet? What's the void number in the circle? Void is four. All right. Roll four. Keep four. Okay. This is what I think it is. Last time I was here, Dave got a cease and desist. Um, two, eight, zero, three. All right, you sense that he is nearby. Okay. And if you're going to use the tower, you can just drop them in the top. Oh, yeah, you're right. Um, like somewhere beyond these creatures, so we kind of have to get them, get past them. Can I, can I get a higher vantage point? Well, you can fly up. Yeah. You know where he is, but you, you could just go, but you would have to go alone. Okay, well, fine. Decides to pursue. Okay. Mr. Slight... Yes. Uh, I'm going to say that you're snapping at these creatures. I'll roll. You don't, thing. They don't have to roll, because we're yeah. kind, of, kind of fudgy. Okay. You are literally, like, hurting them, but stunning them. Like, you're sure. having problems killing them, mm-hmm. but, like, they can somehow take it. Yeah. Lane! Yo. Your turn. Um, I go to try to help the, the superheroes that are having trouble. All right, so you're just duking it out with some of the some of the, the creatures. They're all of different shapes, some you know, and sizes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, Wolf! Um, okay, so can I, like, use my, because I got those, like, super senses? Yeah. Can I, like, use those to, like, figure out, like, what's actually going on here? Because, like, I'm, like, we don't know, like, who the fuck's, like, all these people and shit, right? Um, you can use the thing, it'll give you one specific answer. Okay. Alright, uh, these things are genetically created. They are not human beings. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, these things that you're fighting. Um. Did how? What did you? Did you give us any details on what these things look like that we're actually fighting? Because yeah, they're, they're large, know. black. Some of them have beaks. Some of them have wings. Some of them have claws. Some of them have exposed brains. Okay, they're like big shambling behemoths okay. of different shapes and sizes. And who is it that's fighting them? Ah, uh, the heroes. So describe the heroes. Um, they're in colorful outfits. Um, you see one of them that has, like, horns in their outfit. Um, one of them appears to look like a frog. Um, the other one is literally, a, uh, literally a bear. You fucking asshole. <laughs> Guys, look at the chat. Dimension, Dimension 7, got it. Oh, if that's what it is, I don't know what that is. I've never heard of it. It's a joke. Oh. It's it's not. Oh, it's, we're not that saying guy? the name. Do you want to scan that guy? Copyright. Oh, no. uh, anyway, um, who is it? Uh, oh. oh my God! Is it, are we in academia already? Oh, anyway, so you, oh, you hear? Yeah. Last time, I'm not last time I was here, Dave got a cease and desist. I've seen barely any of. Suddenly, it, so. the ground shakes as we're all kind of almost knocked to our ground, and you see standing up in the crater where he landed is this giant, beautiful, blonde-haired man. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's, it's my hero. Have no fear, for I am here. Oh, excellent. Who are you? Oh my! I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm fine. That is good, citizen. Right. Do not worry. I will take out these creatures. You just stand back. Are you registered heroes? Uh, we're from I another am. dimension, so probably not. Ah, uh, another dimension. We're registered elsewhere. All oh night. Quirk. This is a little bit. All for oh, Cousin. Uh, all for or no, it's one for. Is it all for? No, he's one for. One for all. all. One for all. <laughs> uh, next up, Wildcat. Quirk. Cat. Uh, he starts fight like um, beating the shit out of uh, these creatures. Like he is incredibly powerful. Quirk, bow, and animal. 
Yeah. Quirk, Catbow. <laughs> cat Alright, what do you, what do you uh, want to do? Where is the little Catbow? <laughs> Whose turn is it? Uh, it is Wildcat's turn. Okay. Blaze. Oh, um... He's all dressed, Is there I can flavor. follow after uh, <laughs> Fine? Alright, so you're following after Fine? Yeah. Alright. Uh, Prin is... Um, Maybe tossing like healing arrows to heroes if I find them. Prin dodges to the side, cuts off one of these things' legs. Her sword turns to a uh, more like to a uh, meteor hammer, strikes up, and goes through its brain. Like she literally just killed one in two hits. There goes the Nomu. One of the how, Nomus goes down. How old is Prin? I, I don't know. Three and a half. Prin Quirk redacted. <laughs> Quirk. Uh. Uh-huh. They don't do the cosy bit until they're ready to actually reveal the midnight shoot. Quirk gun. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I don't understand these jokes. Do you not watch Academia? No. Whenever they like reveal a superhero's name and identity, it like cuts to like a colorized like version, and you see here like the microphone DJ like narrate. Ah, oh, like, okay. Like all right, all cosy, all one. That's cool. That's cool. Because cosy is quirk. Uh, midnight. A uh, midnight shoot. We're going to go one through one more round of this combat. Okay. What are you going to do? Are you going to go after them? Are you going to stay and fight things with All Might? Uh, I will shoot at someone who looks shootable. <laughs> there is a there is a Nomu looking like it's about to breathe fire on you. Those, and yeah, and that's the model with the exposed brain? Yeah. I aim for the brain. All right. Yeah, I haven't done either. I don't know. Like... <laughs> Nomu, Quirk, bullet immunity. <laughs> Bulletproof brain, that's your quirk. Oh, and you want to pick up today? I found those, uh... Oh, Only your brain, brain is bulletproof. Please. Even just... I don't even... Shovel Knight's only like top ten, so... I just like... I love those figures. Pretty good. Hope they make all the other knights. You need a gold Shovel Knight. 56 to hit. Uh, yeah, you'll hit. Okay. I'm gonna say just... Yes, uh, you explode his head. Oh, I'm looking all We're doing... Uh, we're doing simple combat. Okay. Mm-hmm. He's going to feature Rammel one day so we can fuck each other. Demon just... Queen! Quirk! Demon Metamorphosis! I was. I really thought it would be Demon Queen, Quirk, Demon Queen. <laughs> Quirk, Demon Queen! You know what we're going to do that? Quirk! <coughs> Demon Queen! Demon Queen! Uh, she is with All Might. She's actually almost keeping up with him in speed and strength. Um, and All Might's like, now that's a woman! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Holy stinking super crap! Oh god, I remember that. And uh, Demon that Queen enough? says, "Yes, he does." It's say like that if, Demon Queen says, "If I didn't have a so girlfriend, I'd be very flattered, my friend." Oh no, shame! A monogamous relationship is a monogamous relationship. Demon Queen has a girlfriend. Demon Queen does have a girlfriend. When? Well, you just heard about it just now. <laughs> oh. Since gonna, now. Are we gonna meet her? You Since already, yesterday, and when have you, you been? You already have. Fine. Speaking of what, um, you come close. You see a bunch of like, uh, you see like. Oh, fine. S- fine doesn't get a quirk description. Oh yeah, <laughs> fine. Quirk alien. Oh, I guess that works. <laughs> quirk. I'm quirk just... adorable. <laughs> <laughs> Kawaii! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see a bunch of uh, a bunch of villains, like they literally look like heroes, but like we can tell a villain when we see one. Yeah. And they're standing around, and there's big uh, big badman. He seems to be negotiating with a guy in a trench coat. Can I can I try listening in mentally? Yes. Then I try listening in mentally. You hear this voice? That's a really interesting plan, and I like it. I probably could spare a couple of powers. Tell me again in great detail. You see the guy reach out with like a hand and a glove and he touches Big Bad Man and Big Bad Man like lights up. Yes, that's what it's like to have powers. Oh, is that Excellent. It's all for one. Oh, yeah. yeah, shit. And uh, a bunch of them that turn around and then the guy goes, you might want to deal with that. And he, he uh, and... Basically, like, both of them go through a portal, and the villains start charging toward you. And I go... Uh, there are six villains all ready to fight you. Yes. One of them, uh, turns into, like, a giant, like, pig man. Like, huge, like, fucking Incredible Hulk-sized pig man. 
and starts charging toward you. Okay. Um, so basically, you can attack. All right, what are you going to do? These guys are charging toward you. Um, who went? Oh, Wildcat, you're there too. You can shoot at one as well. So I'm going to roll for Wildcat. All right. Uh, that's that's. Pretty, you managed to take one down before he even activates his quirk. Nice. And uh, five. arrow to the knee, bitch. Yeah. Uh, Since I just went, I'm going to take him out from here. Yeah. Uh, fine. What are you going to do as these guys are charging toward you? Can I follow the guys who went into the portal? No, the portal's cool. Well, you'd have to get past these guys first. Okay. So can I do a can I do a full on dodge type charge trying to get through them? Um. Yes. I'm going to evens or odds. Uh, evens. All right. So. As you charge through, as you fake, you get around like four of the guys, but you are face to face with the pig guy whose fist, which is the size of a small car, is about to punch you in the everything. Okay. Can I, <laughs> can I just zoom up really fast? Nope. He's going to hit you unless something gets in the way. And then you hear a woman shout, Titan Cliff! And a giant woman enlarges around to the size of like fucking Ultraman. Yeah. It's her. It's, it's Mount yeah. Lady. Mount Lady, Quirk, Gigantification! And this woman just like like picks up this pig and throws him into this into the moon. Like into that, you know, the ping. I'm He's dead. Yeah. And she looks down Bless and she's like, Oh hey! Do you need to get to that portal? Yes, ma'am. And she just stomps the other three guys into the ground. <laughs> Fine just sort of looks back at them like, oh god. The portal <laughs> that all for, uh, that uh, one, one for all went through closed, but if you can use your mental powers to hold the other portal open, the one that our uh, big bad went through. Okay. Um, Mr. Slight is going to keep fighting. L13! Type! Robot! Um, Quark, dab. <laughs> no. No. Um, I'm just gonna keep fighting the creatures. But yes. all right. Is anybody else hearing like a narrator or something? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So basically, you're 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 fighting, and the heroes are like, "Is that an actual robot? That's some quirk." Hmm? Reminds me of that. Reminds me of that one woman who came back as a robot and had different versions of herself. I think she was called Singularity. Whatever happened to her? Hmm. Singularity was what I was started out as a My Hero Academia fan character. Oh wow! So the joke is that she's from this world. Oh, okay, that's cool. Um, Prin is gonna catch up to Fine, and it's like, Fine, how how are you holding that portal open? That's amazing. Magic. She shouts, "Everybody, we gotta go through the next portal." Let's go. We all go. Yeah. Well, Fine sinks him through. There. Yeah. And I th- oh, and uh, Wolf, I, I, uh, you can do one last cool thing before we run to the portal. Wolf, type Wolf. His <laughs> <laughs> powers <laughs> are Wolf senses. <laughs> Assault Wolf's ability. <laughs> <laughs> wolf ability. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> All right. So you gotta like fight your way through. Yeah, just like slice All right. through some of these fuckers. We're going to uh, run through the portal, and I'm going to pee before we go to the next world. So how's everybody doing in the audience? This is real head spinning. Yeah, my original plan was we're going to jump to a bunch of worlds in this episode. This is just That way, if we do get sued, it's one episode we got to get rid of. <laughs> yeah. I was just worried, because like I was saying before, with the My Hero Academia stuff, last time that I was did anything My Hero Academia related, they... Sorry, say again? Oh my god, he got cease and desist while talking. <laughs> uh, Dave, Dave got a cease and desist when we did a My Hero Academia D&D. Wow. Well. Apparently. Wait, Dave told you this? That's, I guess. I don't believe it. Is that a different one? No, it's the one. It just has two sounds. So it's it's Vulcan. No, it's Vulcan's uh, upgrade. No, 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 no. I mean, like these. Are, this looks different from the other one. Yeah, it's like yeah. a super form one. Oh, okay. I like the other ones better. 
Dave once told me that Tight Kubo himself sent him a cease and desist order because he was uh, because of his Omida cosplay was too accurate. No what? bullshit. That's tight. T Tight Kubo. Yeah. <clears throat> that's oh, that's awesome. Give me all your fucking money. <laughs> All right. Sick cosplay, bro. Go fuck yourself. Uh, we find ourselves um, in uh, another another place, of, like a city. It's daytime again. We're in this really nice kind of cafe. Uh, it's outdoors. The sun is shining. People are walking around. Nothing seems to be happening. The tank is clean. A bunch of people. Are the tank ch- is clean. A hedgehogs. Uh, a bunch right. of people are, are chilling. Like the cafe is this nice outdoor cafe <laughs> with a whole bunch of plastic chairs and tables. Oh no. Oh God, we're in the cafe dimension. <laughs> the <laughs> cafe <laughs> dimension. Not what I was thinking, but all right. You mentioned the plastic furniture. Anyway, um. So you guys are walking around Watch and walk. just nothing seems to really, <laughs> nothing really seems to be happening. Mm-hmm. I appreciate the brief, brief moment of peace we have stumbled upon. Yeah. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Plastic furniture. Movie's over. Oh, no. <laughs> A lot of people in the audience look pissed. <laughs> what are you still doing here? The movie's over. Calm. <laughs> We have to go find that scepter guy. Well, yeah, we. I was just gonna say, did we know that? <laughs> like, guy walks up to you. Hey, uh, what are you guys up to? Uh, we're following we're someone. Uh, we're doing stuff and things. I don't have time for this. This is really problematic. Uh huh. You guys aren't here to destroy the city or anything, are you? Because if so, I'd have to cut you real bad. Basically the opposite of that, sir. All right, this is a very important question. I know it's going to seem weird to you, but has any strange creature put anything in your mouth? No. Okay, that's good. Well, I don't have time to talk to you anymore. Well, not without my concern. (laughs) (laughs) This is just so tedious. And this other guy walks up, and and he's like, what is going on here? Who are you? Who are you guys? You know, I can't afford Demand. I can't afford to get distracted. I have surgery in 25 minutes and I need to be focused. I need to eat my cake and I need to go back to work. Yep, okay. And this ah. other guy goes, hey, what the hell? There are greater things going on. There are druidons attacking this world. I don't have time for you. And I go, hey, I if there were druidons, I would cut them. There is nothing I can't cut. The guy turns around, I don't like your attitude. I once cut a rock in half just for being possessed. Oh, God, no. And they both, the like, get right in. The two assholes are meeting. They both so, get in each other's faces. This is not what so this it's, is. It's, so we've got Counter Rider Brave and the Ryu Soldiers. <laughs> you got Brave and Baba. <laughs> Yeah, it is Brave and Bomba literally having an argument over who's the bigger twat. <laughs> who's the bigger knife wielder. Yeah. Don't do Sword wielder. That's the, that's, the, that's the title of my new spinoff show, Brave and Bomba. Batman the Brave and the Bomba. The Brave, Brave and the Bomba! Batman the Brave and the Bomba. Someone needs to fucking come up with that poster right the fuck now. I'm going to work on it. Brave and the Bomba. There's one more for the list of things we could get copyrights. One That's is fun. a doctor, the other's a baba. <laughs> the third one's right a bat. Hey! A real name and the other name. <laughs> anyway, you see these like strange things appear, fr- uh, appear from nowhere, and this weird creature just shows up, and uh, he just goes, Stronger! And he starts attacking us. He grabs Wolf by the neck and throws Wolf through a bunch of plastic chairs. Wait, now we're fighting Common Rider Strong? No, he just said Stronger. It's not actually Common I know, I'm making a joke. Uh, all of a sudden, we find ourselves in a rock quarry that happened somehow was oh, like, close right. enough to... Uh, we all those... dodge roll into the quarry. Yeah. <laughs> we, are, we are now in, uh, in a quarry. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. <laughs> what is... What is this word? What is R? Oh, the real name is... Diana. Oh, okay. Uh, so anyway, so... <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> oh, so, um, 
Oh, fuck, what did they say in uh, Q Reacher? <laughs> or, sorry, uh, um, uh, Marie Soldier? You Soldier. K Bomb? Like, no, no, no. And he flips this thing around and he. Reasonable <laughs> change! Reasonable change! And he turns into this black fighter. Uh, the other guy, uh, literally, like, spins the little thing in his hand and he puts it in. <laughs> Tattle Fantasy! And turns into whatever fucking form is good. I don't know. <laughs> well, title Fantasy. Uh, title Legacy. Title Legacy. <laughs> Well, let's make up our mind. Is it Quest, Fantasy, or Legacy? Whatever. I don't fucking care. I, legacy. I put this in for Itchy's benefit. <laughs> Good to um, care so much. I, I'm just going to list off what, how this goes, because this, this is more like a joke world than anything. Uh, so basically, we fight a bunch of mooks. Uh, uh, midnight shoot. Like, what? what is your tactic here? I guess I'm going to be pairing up with Brave and uh, fighting the same enemies he is. All right, so you're gonna you're gonna. Can I like, pair up with laser so we both both have bows? I thought you were gonna say so you both, both die. die. <laughs> <laughs> I like I Christmas. All right, Ew. happens to be Christmas. Can I team up with laser. I want to die. <laughs> I want to die. I want to die. I want to die. I want to die. I can't believe it. So as Demon Queen is charging, you hear uh, some medals going off. Sukozu and another comrade fights. Oh, yeah, yeah. So she's gonna fight side by uh, side by side with Comrade O's and with him. Woo! Anything goes. It is that. Uh, da, 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 da. Add one more to the list. Uh, uh, <laughs> fine. A woman steps out. A beautiful, beautiful woman steps out. Pulls out a small little compact. And changes into a beautiful blue dress. Oh. It is Cure Mermaid. This is literally fans. I, I, don't thought we were around, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing when we get to sell. <laughs> I thought we were referencing fucking live action Sailor Moon. Yeah, because I was thinking, like, why would there be cures? In this I, I literally had. I got. I, um, oh shit, what are, uh, Paul teams up with uh, Doctor Who. It's a Tokusatsu. <laughs> oh wait, no, he teams up with Common Rider Wizard. And oh, there you, there you go. Uh, Lane. Um, oh shit, what's the name of that Common Rider from the future? Which one? The, the robot. Uh, Kikai. Kikai? Oh yeah. Yeah, Common Rider Kikai. Oh, I was gonna do Decade. <laughs> Kikai that's not the map, that's, that's Lane. But, um... Do you want me to do Kikai Tenshi? Because I can do Kikai Tenshi. Yeah, I have a Mirai driver in my room as well. A uh, strange guy in one of those Super Sentai suits with, like, stars on it, and it's blue, looks to you and goes, Oh, nice suit! You too. I don't know who you're talking about. Like, he howls and he leaps into combat and starts scratching like a wolf. Oh, it's Gauss Silver. Uh, no, no, it's uh, from... Um, Pure Ranger Garu. Yeah, Garu. Oh. Hey! Well, see, was not that you're, this was like, what, five wolf rangers? Oh, ever? So it's Okami Blue, then. Okami yeah, Okami Blue. Blue. There, okay, okay. Um, why are your pants... Okay, why is your suit furry, though? Because I'm furry. Okay. Fuck <laughs> <Talk to> you! <laughs> I'll tell you furry pants. My suit is furry. Go fuck yourself. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Print is fighting and a uh, red and yellow. Uh, 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 you are unfortunately not in this mission. Unfortunately. Uh, there's too much crazy shit going in. Uh, Print is fighting with Kamen Rider Gates. Alright. Like next to. Because time. It's just Gates. Print doesn't really get what's going Gates. on. But Wildcat. Kamen Rider Ghost shows up. You're welcome. <laughs> Wait, why don't I fight with O's? No, Ghost. Blaze why am I fighting favorite. with Ghost? Don't you like Ghost? Blaze's favorite is O's. I'm fine with Ghost, but I like O's. It's O's. You, fight oh. with, you team up with fucking Kokomo Sky Blue. You get Poseidon. Yeah, Kokomo Sky Blue, that's better. That's the one. Sure. I feel I feel very unknowledgeable right now. Because yeah. I have like no... Anyway, you guys all do, 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 do duke stuff out. And you see, uh, finally you defeat the monster as a stronger, and then it grows to large size. Strong. Oh, and so a guy walks forward. So it was a minosaur. Yeah, and a guy walks forward. Uh, hey, uh, I'll take care of this. My name is Hiroyuki. And he grows super large into Ultraman and starts fighting the guy. Q screams from Gar's room. Yeah, so I, I had to throw that in. Because uh, Gar's not here. And two people have enlarged to large size. The Gar is not here. 
And uh, so basically, that all clears up. And then, but you, after like all of the, the smoke and the colored explosions, yeah, okay, kept going, but, um, Ultraman. Yeah, Gar's in the chat. Yeah, Gar's in the chat. Ultraman! <laughs> um, He's larger than life. I wish this was the CSM deck of drivers so I could just do. It doesn't count unless it comes with the battle song. Right. Anyway, as as the smoke clears, you see Big Bad disappear through a portal, and there's a man standing there, and he's he's crossing his arms like he's so uh, so pleased with what he just did. Anyone gonna run over and talk to that guy? Uh, I will, sure. Oh, so I guess it's the two of us. Yeah, go for it. You're too late. I have already given him everything he asked for. Quite an interesting scenario. God damn it. So who is this we're talking to? My name is Dimensional God Dan Caroto. Oh God! Bleh! Damn it, Dan! Jiku Kamina! I don't know. Well anyway, I but I this. by the way, he reopens the portal. I'll leave the portal open. You can go uh take care of that if you will. Thanks. Bleh! Thanks, Dan. I keep my Dan. eyes on him as we step through the portal. Mine also keeps her eyes on him as she steps through the portal and blushes a little bit. <laughs> Aww. She's like, Dan. As you walk through the portal, you see this, like, broken... Mine is a thing for corporate types. <laughs> you see this, like, weird, destroyed city. Mm-hmm. And uh, you see, like, oh, so a... So wa- what on earth is happening in this? You see, like, this warrior with, like, red hair and a fox mask looking at you. Why are you here? Oh, is it the, okay. And you see this, like, a, a bunch of other, like, really attractive women standing around her. Whoever, that person that just came through here took something, and we don't know what he wants, but we can't let them get away with it. We're, 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 tra- we're chasing him. We're trying to get everything back. This is, like, the third or fourth universe we've been to, and it's starting to get a little bit woozy. Well, our dimension has been all but our dimension has been all but destroyed. We don't have any room for any more combat here. If we're going to turn things around, we have to do it ourselves. Hopefully, this isn't some kind of misunderstanding, and then we have to fight and then become friends after. Who are you? We are hero cast. Huh. Interesting. I am Crimson Cast. Oh. Um, what I miss? Uh, I'm tying it into the Hero Cast comic. We've just, ah. stepped, we've just stepped into our own comic series. Yeah, this is interesting. <laughs> I truly am a guest star today. <laughs> well, the comic series isn't even out yet, so somebody just came here and took something from one of our relic sites. I don't know what he would do with it. I imagine it is some kind of super armor that nullifies almost any. Any uh, any attack, any fast attack, any energy, any explosion. It yep. was. Oh, uh, well, that explains our first fight. So anyway. this is him getting all the artifacts he yeah, used he, in the fight we already did. He seemed did. to be gathering objects from different worlds in order to use something that could end up destroying ours. So can you point us which way he went? He went that way. I think there's one more portal. It's getting weak. I'll hold it open as long as I can. We'll all go through. All right, so you, you go through this portal and you find yourself like in this kind of like alleyway, and uh, of darkness. It what well, is very dark. So you you know you have problems seeing what's going, but you hear voices from inside this like you know house nearby, and you hear you know and they're just very animated. Um, but it's a small house. We, uh, princess, I need somebody to go in and check out what's going on in there. I, I sense that this is a great place of great power. All right, Wolf, go on in. You're new. You're easily sacrificable. No. <laughs> That's basically me. Actually. So you basically you walk <laughs> in, and you hear. Don't forget to use our code for skip the dishes. <laughs> We're a bunch of Toronto-based Tokusatsu enthusiasts who come together and talk <laughs> about news and other shows. <laughs> Oh, and you God. realize you're in a house, and you see a bunch of people sitting around a TV recording a podcast. And I think to myself, you know what? These guys seem really nice. 
<laughs> uh, you see, you see a uh, a freckled gentleman sitting in a chair, and he's running the computer. Oh God! So uh, he's brave with the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> in the brave in the bomb. Uh, you That's see, the thumbnail. You I'm see sorry. <laughs> nice boys. Uh, you see a uh, a shy, quiet woman laughing about something on the screen, sitting on. Uh, you see uh, a uh, a tall a tall man with short short hair in a Cineplex uniform. What? Uh, you see a thin man wearing nothing but gray. And you see a really awesome guy sitting on the couch uh, who seems to know what's going on. <laughs> you know, yeah, really I shout out. I totally the, have like the, the guy in gray shouts out. Oh boy, a police robot! Whoa! Police cops, police cops, police. Cops. We're in hero cast generation police forever. <laughs> this is getting awfully meta. Yeah, the tall guy in the silplex oh. uniform goes meow. You just. Girl. <laughs> You hear a voice from over the computer. Hey guys, what's going on? I thought we were talking about this episode 169. You also <laughs> see Big Bad with a orange folder, and he's going into the orange folder. Oh no! Oh uh, yeah! And he pulls out a sheet that says Big Bad on it. And he starts writing on it. Uh-oh. Not Ichi's oh. porn folder! He's changing his stats. He then he then slides it back in. He's actually writing on a sheet right now. This is so meta. Wow. This is that week we got super meta. The first time. And he slides it back in the sheet and hands it back to the handsome gentleman sitting on the chair. <laughs> and he disappears. He goes, "You're too late. I have everything I need." And he disappears through the portal. I've cheesed my own stats. Hey, let me ask you, what did he, what did he take, what did he give you or take from you, sir? Uh, who are you? I, I'm a dude in a wolf costume. Are you really gonna ask me, not answer my questions right now? Well, I'm a cosplay photographer. You ever need shots? Then let me know. <laughs> we'll <talk. Nobody> else. <laughs> Here's my card. Here's my card. Is nobody else a little bit concerned about this? No, I'm very good. That's why I'm asking. Like, what'd you give him? I'm more concerned about what Johnny was up to when he showed up ten minutes ago. Uh, uh, no, he was just, he just wanted to look at a character sheet for one of my villains. Uh, I don't know what that was all about. What? I think he, I think he what changed something around. You, you might want to look at that. Do you have the sheet way. still? Uh, well, yeah, well, he wrote on it in pen. He's a really asshole. Uh, I can't really change it. <laughs> uh, but I can tell you what his weakness is. That would be much obliged. I have, I have, I have a bottle uh, of white out. Um, well, you see, he gets stunned by sonic attacks. Um, but he also, uh... Though he is immune to hit, like being hit, you can still grab him. He, he's, his force field won't stop a slow grab. Okay. Really? Do I have I'm the only one in the room right now, right? Because I have a joke if I am. Well, I mean, you're like the first one in the door, but oh, okay. I'm sort of behind you. Yeah, no, we're all outside. You're the only hero here. Okay. Uh, okay, okay, so. Can't help but feel like this will be irrelevant. <laughs> can't help but feel something. Is there anything else you can tell me that we that I can that we can use? Because uh, we just you just came through some real deep shit here. Um, but did he say oh, you're anything from, else? Wait, are you from HeroCast? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Prin isn't who she says she is. Mm. That's all I'm going to tell you. Cause spoilers. Mm. Mm. This is sort of a world or at stake thing. You kind of have to give us the. Hey, I guess, I, hey, I'm live on Cast Ranger right now. Anything I say <laughs> about uh, about Hero Cast is expecting to be spoilers for the next episode. I'm expecting the fucking ceiling to rip off any right? second. I'm like, like how the walls gonna fall apart? Like, like, like us, oh, just looking like down. I feel like weird. Like I feel like uh, right. This is just oh, that episode. Oh, this is just the <laughs> ending of the fucking. Like, we're just gonna look movie. at the back door, and Cell's gonna be standing there. <laughs> so get the, another version of me. <laughs> So, this is well, just I, the ending of the book. It no, it's like I open it up. Hey, look, it's a bug that looks just like Lane. <laughs> so it kill him. No, no, no! Lane's door opens, and you see like a, uh, and you see like a, uh, a guy like in red. Uh, you see Redcaster step out. <laughs> hey, wow! We're in the cast. We're, we're we're in the we're in the cast rangers recording area. Okay. okay. Shit, are you from HeroCast? Okay, this is getting weird. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we're on a totally different adventure. Don't worry about it. And he, and he leaves. This is still right, back in your I just dimension. Go, I just go. Okay, we need we need to we need to get going now, guys. And There's then a big suddenly, all of the regulars kick down the door. Freeze! <laughs> we need to get out of here before we stop existing. I think 
that something. What was in there? Bunch of nerds. Let's go. Print opens the portal again and says, uh, "All right, what are we gonna do? Because we're gonna have about three seconds before he kills uh, he kills uh, Chernobyl. What are we gonna do? Do we have a plan? I think I have Sonic arrows. I mean, is the, have well, no, no, no. Okay, well, here's the thing. Because at this point, I'm the only one who knows that Prince not what. Yeah, I just know should, that information. You right? say you no, that's what I was about yet. to say. Like, I come out and I say, I don't, like, I say, okay, look, uh, here's what he told me. This guy's, like, a mute, like, a uh, disabled to sonic arrows and, like, just don't be really fast when you hit him sort of thing. Like, it has to be, like, a slow burn almost. You ever seen X-Men First Class? You just said a thing about Prince. That movie doesn't exist in our dimension. I don't know what weird movie you were watching when you were talking to those nerds in there. <laughs> But it's movie a lot. That's not no. That's not a movie. I sat and watched X Men. With... Yeah, we were. <laughs> so I've been in there. For you two were in hours. there for yeah. You were in there for two hours. What were you? <laughs> right. We went and got lunch. Oh fuck. Okay. You okay? No, it's just my knees acting up. The dimension may be different, but the McDonald's always tastes the same. Except in one universe, it tastes like Burger King. Just, as long as you don't so go just to, slightly worse. As long as we don't go to Quebec McDonald's, because I vomited that shit out 15 minutes later. All right, uh, Demon Queen said, "Okay, we need a plan. We need to figure what we need to do. We need to somehow get it so we can." <coughs> this I have a plan. I have an idea, and I'm not gonna like it, but I think I know how to how to how to hurt this guy. But I need you to not help me until you see the opening. But that won't help. We need to find out a way to get to save Chernobyl. And Brick goes, that's absolutely right. Um, uh, sorry, I lost my train of thought. That's that's absolutely right, Dylan. Uh, I mean, um, Dylan. Dylan. We need to we need to do something. Does any of you have an idea for how we save? Because we have a fraction of a second. You need to tell everyone, you need to confront friend and say you're not who you say you are. I was going to wait until we got back to our world. I'm going to say you know that through, uh... Yes. Well, like, I was going to do is, like, we got, like, we, we, she's the one opening the portals. We need to get back to our world first before we can help. Like, I can't tip my hand. He goes, I can stun him for a second if you can get her out of the way. But it's going to be really confusing. I, I'm confused now, actually. Like, who knows what now? Like, actually, in the game? I've only been fighting with 10% of my power. It's Shaggy. It's Shaggy! Wait, you've met Shaggy? No, no. I purposely <laughs> capped off that universe because we couldn't handle him. Oh, God, God that it. isn't even a real thing. In someone's <laughs> world, it is. <laughs> there were a lot of other worlds. The fan fiction universe. But I knew that if we went to the world with the Super Crowns, we'd be distracted. And nobody really needed to go to the world with the small little, like, ro- the toy- small little toy game with the balls that extend. I thought you were going to say toilets. <laughs> oh, we could have gone to Bakugan! Yeah, and also, uh, unfortunately, um, uh, Big Bad already destroyed the universe with the digital monsters in it. What? Oh, they're gone. <laughs> yeah, oh well. They were getting stale anyway. Well, I think, yeah, like, I, I think Bandai already sort of destroyed the world with the digital monsters in it. After <laughs> hey, we're still getting movies! That's true, I'm more so talking about, they barely yeah, come movies about toys older shit. Yeah, nice shit. try. Atmons was a departure, but it had a good second half. I, I, have no, I have nothing against any of this stuff, it's just that was such an easy opening, I apologize. Yeah. I, I'm not, I, I, I feel really, my brain Also, one so of the worlds weird. that we were supposed to go to, I forgot about till just now, so we're going to have somebody from the world say hi. Hi, I say. Come to our world next time, you will. It's oh Grover! <laughs> my, first was, my first thought was Grover, too. <laughs> I would love to go to a version where all the cast strangers or heroes or whatever are like puppets. <laughs> it's yeah, like the yeah, fighting yeah, is like yeah. really crappy looking. Just get, like get our little dolls over there. <laughs> Those are outdated. Now. Yeah, we got, we got, yeah, you got updated dolls. You can make new ones. Uh, I wonder if they'll be. I wonder if they'll. Oh, don't, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, Seven. Uh, Monsuno is safe. Chalky milk. <laughs> what? I. My brain is so turned around. <coughs> so anyway, oh, so the world shifts, and <laughs> we kind of hear, like, as shifting back to our world, you hear combat happening, 
Like, uh, as it comes back in our world, you feel knocked back by a certain force, and you see Big Bad slide back, and you see this huge, like, person in, like, black armor with, like, a spiky long tail just literally standing there, and Chernobyl is, like, unconscious on the ground behind. And the person looks back at you, gives a thumbs up, and then disappears. Prin is nowhere to be seen. Okay, so that was... Not Prin. That was weird. Um, anyway, uh, so maybe goes, what was that about? Do you have some allies that I don't know about? More than you could ever imagine. We have allies that we don't know about. Yeah. We have a Hulk. Wait. Oh, sorry. All of the timelines are quite... You've been after me the whole time, but I was one step ahead of you. Evidently. But anyway, I've seen everything you can do. I've seen all of your tricks. I've seen all of your powers. Except for you. You've been underutilized. Points to <laughs> He points to Zell. Uh, Demon Who Queen... Who are like, you? Demon Queen, like, slides in and starts pounding him. He literally backhands her sensor flying through a building. Demon Queen! That's not Could good. I do that... Can anyone else? The cheetah thing should... that I did last time? I feel like this should be the part where you should be telling Demon Queen to... To tap her over? Because you found out with the meta thing that you were supposed to grapple her. Wait, I thought I told you guys this though now. You, you, this is what I was saying, like, sorry. All you, all you mentioned was go for a slow burn, but you didn't mention... No, he also said Sonic like, guys. Well, okay, sorry, I thought I, I, thought I was like, imp- impl- implementing the knowledge onto you guys that he said sorry. Alright, so you're gonna fire some Sonic arrows? Turn on the... You're gonna tr- uh, you, can, you can do your siren lane. <laughs> so he's kind of momentarily dazed, and you see from the uh, the wreckage, Demon Queen um, jumps up, lands behind him, and just wraps her arms around him, and wraps her tail around him. And he goes, really? <laughs> ah, I'm into this! With every, you are not strong enough to crush me through the suit. You do not have nearly a third of the strength that I have. I could peel you off like you are a casing on a cooked shrimp. And Demon Queen's like, idea. let's see. So he reaches and grabs her, and he's like kind of struggling with her. And he goes, Hur! and he rips, and at the last second, she engages barbs onto her the, the spikes on her tail, and rips half of his armor off as he throws her off. Oh, I thought geez. you were going to yeah. say arm off. And <laughs> literally throws her through another building. Like, just like, just, yeet. It keeps happening. <laughs> Demon Queen, what? Demon And he looks, and he, like, all of a sudden you go, mmm. Like, his shields are down. <laughs> now! Get him! Midnight shoot! Actually roll attack. Okay. I'll use an explosive shot on him. Demon Queen has gone this round. I- I'm just gonna go down from top to bottom because like I'm too lazy to go get the numbers. Ready? Are you ready? Second note. <laughs> Gar's mom spaghetti. <laughs> Gar's mom's bomb spaghetti. There's vomit on a sweater already. <laughs> I actually made spaghetti for my friend. He was, oh man, this is great, Tom Spaghetti. <laughs> 33 to hit. Ah, uh, you will hit him. Okay. Damn it, I was so close to smite. <laughs> <laughs> do I still have a smite? Uh, I think you do, actually. Maybe. Yeah. No. I, I think Paul had it last, actually. I thought he didn't. I thought he rolled it and it wasn't like it wasn't for attack or something. Check out Zilla playing Uno. Yep. It is. Yeah, it's for all of Japan. Yeah, it's the either pick up fifty two cards or don't attack Japan. I rolled sixty nine damage. I want. Nice. Uh, I want nice. one of these things where it's like it's like. Um, like don't kill the don't kill the druid on or the druid on host or draw twenty five and his picture of Bamba. <laughs> oh, that's doable. You just keep making fun of Bamba. Because he's the only cool character that's worth making fun of. Except for Melt, it's fun to rag on. Yeah, him. it's true. Uh, all right, yeah, so you, you shoot him like he, uh, he seems to still have some kind of armor on, but you actually damaged him that time. Sick. Um. He looks mad, he pulls this, like, mace from his back, and he hits a button, and you feel, like, basically, like, gravity is, like, increasing, and he steps forward, and, like, literally he's moving faster, and literally as he's moving this thing, it is, like, altering gravity. He swings, 
Uh, I'm gonna, and he misses Fine, but the building behind Fine starts to literally tear off its foundation and raise into the sky, no. and you see people literally coming out the windows. Okay, do I, can I, can I save as many as I can? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's like, you may think you have wounded me, but I still have the gravity hammer. Uh, from Halo? Oh shit, there's a... The, you, I, I, you know what? I'm gonna, I still have the singularity mace. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Master Chief. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that. I right, still have the fighting Master Chief. I still have. I'm gonna say gravity mace. Uh, fine. You're gonna fly up and save some people. Yes. All right. Um, I think. Give, give me a. Uh, Reflex roll. So it's your reflex, give your reflex. Okay. Okay, so you say, give me a beat. Reflex is three. <laughs> yes, drop me a six three. beat. And all three of those numbers. And you all drop eight, a six, six beat in the comments. Two sixes and an eight. <laughs> Alright, so you, you start grabbing people out of the thing, but there might not... <coughs> yeah. uh, Mr. Slight... I'm bringing them to the ground and everything. I just... I, I, I have Mr. Feeling... Slight snaps his fingers and a, a, por- a, a portal opens up behind a person and puts it next to him. He's figured out how to do magic portals. Cool. Oh, sweet. Cool. Magic portals. I think the neat thing is that, magic um... Portals. I think that magic. if we just attack, um... If we just attack the bad move. guy and and knock some the mace out of his hand or something, it could cause the Lane, building to fall you are now surrounded by people. three singularity, mo- uh, singularity bodies. Alright, um... I search... Self-destruct. <laughs> I search... Like hacked ones? Yeah, these are the ones... These are, like, uh... Ones that I are cannot be captured... It is against my core programming. <laughs> I must self dest- must com- commence self destruct. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, so I searched through my database to see how to take care of these enemies quickly, and I look uh, surprisingly find a reference to the movie Equilibrium, starring Christian Bale. You're an you know what? Okay, you, you you've been working with uh, you've been working with Singularity, right? Yeah. You know Singularity's shutdown code. Okay. I and I'm gonna write it down for you. I remote access shutdown. Which one? Initiate shutdown code. Artemis. They all just shut down. <laughs> Wolf. There are still a bunch... There are still a whole bunch of uh, of uh, cop robots that are still fighting. What? We didn't deal with that. No, yeah, we just uh, kind of left <laughs> Which I call Rokops. Which I call Rokops. You get your choice of killing. <laughs> oh, yeah, waiting for me, sir? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I thought you were going to say something else. Okay, we, we gotta deal with these things. Like, people are in danger here. You attack so, like, I, 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 I try to take down as many as I can Benzenate. with, like, one big... Potassium benzoate. Like, how many are there about? Yes. Uh, about, you know what, I'm just gonna... You took out seven of them. Because I was gonna say, it's like, remember that scene in uh, Guardians 2 with Yondu yeah. and his arrow? Yeah. Like, I was you, basically gonna do that with my you, axe. You so. kind of, like, fold, you throw it, you <laughs> fold the one knee, and then it just goes... Yeah. It takes out seven of them and then comes back into your hand. Well, the way I would have done it is, like, just because, you know, it, it's trained to come back to my hand, right? So, like, yeah. I go, like, into the crowd, like, you know, fight some hand-to-hand, just stay as, like, kind of outrun the axe, I would say. Yeah. Like, so it's, it's constantly going through them to get to me. Uh, a bunch of them, I'm going to say f- uh, five more shut down. As you see, the, just all of their electric systems just go haywire. Mm. And you see Chernobyl on uh, one knee, and she's got her hand up, and she's, like, generating radiation towards oh, so them. She's... And she's like... I am not out of this fight yet. I will do this for Mother Russia! <laughs> for the motherland! For Mother Russia! Chernobyl. You Take may... this, Mother Russia! Chernobyl, you may be cliche as hell, but God, I, I, I enjoy answer. fighting with you. God, you're determined. I have enjoyed yeah. fighting next to you since that time in, in Berlin. You and I remember Berlin very differently. That's good. You asshole. You took it. <laughs> you and I remember Berlin. Cue the Vlad's very Troubles theme song. Ah! Wildcat, please. There are still three. Oh, God. <laughs> you found it. Uh, did you say that uh, <laughs> Slight opened up a portal behind him? <laughs> what? I'm hearing Vlad's Troubles theme song. <laughs> it's the same you, song. I know. Okay, okay. I, I, I didn't listen to Blake. Slight opened up like a portal behind bad guy. A portal to where and how? I thought you said like slight opened up portals. Or something. No, we opened up a portal to people in the rubble that are floating away in the gravity thing. Oh, I thought you said he opened up a portal behind it. Yeah. Okay. Um, could I run and get behind the uh, big bad? Yep. He's much slower now. 
All right. Um, can I? I want to do that and shove a shock arrow into his spine. Uh, you could try. Give me your. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna roll for you. So now I'm. Wondering, fingers, I'm wondering if fingers Big crossed. Bad, I'm wondering if our boy Big Bad is from another certain other dimension. He grunts like he's like he's in pain, but he struggles through, and he turns around to hit you with the gravity hammer. I'm wondering if he's from a dimension where we might run in, where, where we might run into oh shit typical uh, average kids. Mm-hmm. What oh <laughs> no. <laughs> Just uh, real good at that inception seeding there, H. Yeah. <laughs> I've come to help. <laughs> it's me, Dragonborg. Dragonborg, how? What are you doing wait, here? Wait, I blinked and I think I missed like. Dragonborg, I'm gonna need you to fight him because we can't. We're stupid. <laughs> What's going on? Little, 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 little. I just realized that his name is Big Bad, so I'm like, is he from the no. Big Bad Beautiful? Uh, I don't think Flavor ever went. <laughs> What it was me. Me. I was the ultimate fighter the whole time. <laughs> I have the powers of a cartoonist. Uh, big bad man, alright! No. <laughs> no, it's none of that. Okay. <laughs> Next time. Batman. Gone uh, okay, so um Blaze, he turns around and hits you with the gravity mace. Uh-huh. You, uh, you block with all you have. It, it breaks one of your arms. You feel like two broken ribs. As you open your eyes, you realize you are 40,000 feet in the air and falling. Oh, gosh. Oh, crap. He literally sent you 40,000 feet from your current position. Can Fine go and catch him? We're going to see. Fine, do whatever she wants. Uh, I, and then he turns around and he's going to pick a random one of us who smokes. Um, he's going to throw the, uh, he, or he's going to take a swing at midnight shoot. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, those I am seven and a half miles in the air. I have a good reaction. For what is your wounds per, uh, wounds per round? Like, my, my health levels? Yeah. Uh, ten and then four is, oh, shit. <laughs> Some good shit. As you go to dodge, you feel yourself pulled toward the hammer, like gravity is pulling you toward it. Um, it shatters your armor and breaks one of your arms, but you are still your gun arm is still good. You you're like Iron Man with wearing half the armor. Oh boy! As you go, you are feeling close to blacking out. Oh uh-huh. no! Uh, he's then gonna turn, he's gonna attack Lane. He's got a bunch of attacks. Where did he go? Oh Uh-oh. shit, that hits you, Lane. Uh, oh, fuck. Welcome to the last episode of HeroCast. Yeah. Tears me- merely a flesh wound. He Wait, bifurcates, you flesh. He bifurcates you at the waist. Paradox. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> so you were cut in half? Lane is cut in half. Oh! <laughs> hey, Bishop. <laughs> that just means there's two of you. Oh god, I oh oh god. The legs like start fighting him. I can't feel my legs. <laughs> no, like his brain is in his legs. So, so like, like each, the... each of his like cut halves, they like fold down and transform into little minions. No, 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 no. Like he runs by and a guy and a guy who looks suspiciously like John goes, Is that pants? Is that pants? Is that pants like gonna be fighting the heroes the, yes. the villains? Oh now? shit. This is going uh, to be fine. But it's not around it? and he Yeets the gravity mace right at you. It is twirling at ridiculous speeds right oh, toward you. Fuck. He used strike raid. For do. Oh shit. Give me that smite. For do. He's throwing it toward you. You're about to. It, You're you about to get hit by gravity mace. Okay, toward fine. You're about to be uh, yeah. Him. What's what? What's your hit point number? That's like here on your page. Under TN. Oh, okay. TN. Oh, oh no, no. Yeah, the bottom, bottom ones. Oh, uh, it says SK. Let me see. You want to know what her health levels are? Yeah. Same. Ten and then fours. All right. That is enough to outright kill you. <gasps> oh shit! It's like whooshing through the air. Yep. And then I can. Basically, what happened was showtime. I just rolled five tens for Demon Queen. She snatches the gravity hammer oh. out of the air. <laughs> Pins off the wall and just braces as the building crushes like into like a like a like an L. Like she catches it right before it hits you. Fuck. If I had failed that roll, it, it would have killed fine. No, that would have been awful. That would have been not fine. Fine, fine. 
All right. Um, top of the order. Midnight shoot. Top of the order. <laughs> okay. Back into action. I'm going to use my last explosive shot on this dude. Yeah. He looks like he's trying to pull the hammer back it, to smite you with it. I'm going to aim specifically at his hand to explode it. Yeah. So that's 38 to hit. You hit. Excellent. Excellent. Now, what's your rolling? He's trying to pull it back, but you see that um, uh, Demon Queen just braced herself, has a hold on the thing, and fine. He, he actually, she grabs on, like, literally, it's like you feel like this connection coming between you as you're sharing your power. And she is fighting to take control of the gravity hammer. Yeah. Mostly, she can't control it, but she's with your help. And I'm going to do a roll. F- uh, what's your void? Void is four. Damn it, I almost got a smite. And Emily, you have the smite. <laughs> you, I rolled f- uh, three, f- uh, three zeros for you to hold. You're basically like giving your mental power yeah. to. So your strength, or your. Mental strength is combining with her physical strength. Yeah, and it's got to be glowing, right? Yeah, there's 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 light involved here. You see a flashback, which I will describe later. Oh, this is going to be epic. I rolled... However, you immediately feel really good about what um, she is. You see this whole long thing. Demon Queen is not your enemy. In fact, she's the future of your people. And... Also, I rolled sixty nine damage again. Nice. Um, you <laughs> shred his armor. His his arm just goes like it's not quite like like his arm. His arm is like fucking fucked up. Like it's yeah. like, and he steps back, and you see his other arm. He's trying to activate something, and you see like this thing light up. But he steps back right in front of Wolf. <gasps> Chernobyl reaches up and touches your axe, and it within a second, it's red like the background of that computer. It is charged. <laughs> Uh, it is literally charged with radioactive energy. Now I remember Berlin. Radioax. Attack him. Radioax. Like you attacked me in that in that bar that night. (laughs) (laughs) Take that as you will. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) Smash him like you smash me. I'm writing backstory with you in this character. I'm fine with it. I'm I'm enjoying. Like ever, I should also mention that Chernobyl is like fucking Russian supermodel hot. No, I, like, you know what I was picturing? You see Pacific Rim? Yeah. Remember the Russian lady? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm picturing. And I'm you know what? Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> but like, she's fine. fine with that. I was oh. expecting her to say, smash I them like the, I, I smashed the you. Chick, I was thinking the Russian chick from Deadpool. <laughs> oh, yeah. Take him down as if he were a capitalist. Gina Karan, yeah. I gotta say the line again. Take him down as if he were capitalism. Can I play it <laughs> can, can I play it again? But I like there capitalism. Go for the for the motherland. All right, I'm gonna roll for you. I'm gonna roll for you. All right, give the smite. Who is the mother? Give the smite to our new guy. God damn it! That's another ten. Oh, and our hero sound the wall. In Gorbachev's boy. name, Gorb- <laughs> Gorb- Gorbachev him. Gorbachev. Tear down his face. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Mess him up like an American election. Oh. All right, so how do you want to do it? Because you have a kill blow on him well, any like, way you want it. No, literally, I'm going to just, like, fucking, like, you know, do what a certain blonde haired guy should have done the first time around. I'm going for the head. <laughs> All right, you lop off his head. <laughs> nice. All right, so he falls to the ground. Something. All of all of the the remaining. I wish uh, there's... I could somehow make it fade out. Can we so... get copyright up for a national anthem? No, no, because so. they are by definition public domain. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, so anyway, uh, uh, the three remaining police officers, the virus kicks out, and they're like awaiting orders. <laughs> With the help of Fine and um, I am L three and Demon Queen. 
you lower the building enough so all the people that are still inside are safe. They, they evacuate before the building collapses. For a second, I thought you said they evaporate. <laughs> they just, oh no! Wait, where, 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 where is L13? Um, there and there. The three remaining ones are doing emergency um, protective measures for L13. They are they can't repair you on the spot, but they're making it so you your core doesn't shut down. I, I, I fly over. They connect one just... USB cord sticking out of one half and connect it to a slot on the other half. I go I go up to him. And I go. You did good today, officer. Guys. Can you send some help? I'm halfway to space and losing altitude fast. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Demon Queen just catches her. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. He's a cat, so, an he's a cat so it'd be like... <laughs> yeah, turn into a cat. You'll land on your feet. <laughs> oh, yeah! Uh, somebody catches you. It is a beautiful woman in a superhero nurse outfit. It's Hello Nurse. <laughs> yeah, She's Hello like, Nurse. Sorry I was late. I was in South America doing some stuff uh, that Pinnacle usually does. I'm the only one that has that kind of strength. Well, other than maybe uh, Demon Queen, but she can't fly. So she lands yes. and she starts stabilizing the people that are hurt. Like, she heals you as she's carrying you. And she heals your arm and he, you know, like, and just... It's, it's, Thank you! <laughs> Uh, Demon Queen looks like she's struggling to hold the form. She's taken a lot of damage. Demon Queen, please probably, let me, uh, let me heal you. Turn that off. I'm 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 okay to hold on. There's a lot of people looking. I don't want to change back when people are looking. Oh, then I need to look heroic behind this curtain. Let, no, well, there's also the chance that she's taking so much damage. If she transforms back, she might not be able to handle it. Yeah, I need to regenerate a little bit. Allow me to help you, please. All right, so you give some of your temporary hit points to her. Yeah. She takes a lot from you. Like, you feel weakened. Yeah, I know. But and you go back into she... tiny form. Yeah. However, it's enough to stabilize her. Yes. Fine is, is just Fine. tears are all are coming out of her eyes, and she just leans into Funny. Demon Queen. She feels at peace with her. Prim walks out, uh, and her uh, her uh, she, she walks out. Well, you guys did an amazing job. I could not have imagined that going better. You want to explain what that other form of yours was back there? Oh, you don't need to know about that. Uh huh. Damn and me. she realizes her hood is down. She has actual like animal ears that are moving. Hey, sisters. Mine yeah, are just, mine are just aesthetic. <laughs> I just yeah, I had to help you because long story short, there is an alternate universe where Chernobyl die or explodes here and kills all of you in the explosion, and that's the darkest timeline. Glad we're not them. Well, I come from... I'm the, you from the future. There's no time to explain. I come from another timeline, but I saw the darkest timeline, and I realized that the only way to not get the darkest timeline, be canonical, is to come back and see if I could save Chernobyl. It's awesome. You know, well, we gotta... You know, one of them was a disaster. We gotta stop the other one from going blue. Chernobyl we goes... We clearly picked the correct one. Chernobyl goes, can't believe that was almost the darkest timeline. And Wolf turns and goes, you're my timeline. <laughs> anyway I need to go because I I can't mess with things too much here I don't want my mother figuring out I was here uh huh will we ever see who's your you mother? again who's your mom okay I really really can't tell you he was also your father well that's really the same thing really isn't it uh, your anyway. mother and your father are the same person I think she's Jesus what, what? I don't think that's in the scripture. Fur, I was sent by furry God! Jesus. I made very sure we didn't go to that fictional universe. Woo! It's Pharisees. Pharisees. Oh, but anyway, I might come back if you need me again. Cool. All right, doctor. So we'll know next time we see you that we're about to be severe, severely fucked. Hey, yeah. don't say it like that. All right. Well, I gotta She's go. She's gonna pull up what. The face from uh, the white beetle board. She's like, I'll be here whenever you need me. It's never seen again. <laughs> well, I gotta go. See you later, my um, friends. And disappears. Goodbye. Friends are good. Thank you for your help. Gloody -do -do. <laughs> <laughs> and goes through a portal. And uh, so, anyway, people walk up and they're cheering because uh, they saw Big Bad Man basically was about to kill everything. Uh, so, anyways, a few days later.
Uh, you're in the process of repairing your armor. Lane, you have, like, from the waist down a generic, like, loner body as they're repairing your actual lower body. Oh. So you're like C3PO, you have like a red lower oh body. Oh my god, Lane has the spare ass from its Vojin right in that's headquarters. Oh my god, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's where it went! No, no, Lane. Oh, Lane, you missed the perfect opportunity. When you got your rip, heart ripped off, you should have been, oh yeah, well kiss my shine. Oh no! <laughs> it's my shiny ass. You gotta go down to the lab to get it, though. <laughs> Uh, Chernobyl walks in the hall and is like, well, I've seen the, what you can do. And I got to say, and she closes the book, you all are doing very well. Little, you uh, all fail. <laughs> little, uh, what do I say, unorthodox, but, uh, it's good. It's good. Nah. Not quite up to the people's uh, heroes. say seven out of ten, too much water. Yes, uh, I'd say not quite up to the people's hero standards, but for North American heroes... Pretty good. I will follow you all on Instagram. <laughs> Instagram. I will, I will follow you on Instagram. And of course, uh, Wolf, slide into my PMs. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Fine should get an Instagram. <laughs> Maybe Fine should slip, slip into the DMs. Sleep and slide in. Alright, so that has been another episode of HeroCast. Whee! Hooray! Uh, a bunch of new characters, uh, some of which are um, owned by uh, Disney and I other people. Almost fucking died. Uh, what character? I'm wow, gonna draw. We all almost died. died. Yeah. Hey. I'm gonna draw a character uh, from this session for next week's thing. Who do people want to see a drill illustration of? Chernobyl. Post in the comments. Yeah, I want to see. Post Chernobyl. in the comments. Uh, obviously, the <laughs> unstoppable hunk. The unstoppable <laughs> hunk. hunk. Hammerman. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you guys do next time? You Captain of the Americas. <laughs> Captain South America. No, no, no. Cur Colonel United. Oh. Colonel United. Clearly brown recluse. Yeah. Are you going to send what happened in that flashback? Oh, yeah, we should do the flashback real quick. <laughs> you see your people fighting a losing battle against... um. Those blue the blue aliens. Blue, yeah. However, you see one of the blue aliens, a powerful warrior, decide that what they're doing is wrong and fights back against them, managing to get control of this powerful device that gives them their strength. And basically, with the powers of your people, you banish the... <sighs> most of the aliens from the living dimension, meaning that most of them are basically sent into a dimension not of, of life. The Shadow Realm. However, the hero, literally you try, your people tried to right. save the hero, but could not save her physical body, but sent her soul to Earth, Earth. and was reborn in a human body. Oh my god. Her mind has been like reset, meaning it's still technically her mind, but it has none of the memories. So yeah. Dylan... Is a his consciousness is actually like a cross between his and hers. There's no differentiation. Yeah. It's literally her soul in his human body, but he can turn into temporarily into his uh, her original body. So that's a plot to an anime. Pro probably these days, fucking, it's gotta be something. Yeah, the anime is called "I'm a Demon Queen," and I'm really curious about this thing that we're fighting heroes all the time. What is in it a with dungeon. those long titles? Yeah. Uh, anyway, so, but this is the personification of the per. Like, there's very few of your people left. Like, they're like yeah. they're in hiding. Was Was Fine actually there to witness this happening? Or no, you were one. You were like a child at the time. Okay. Like you were one of the ones they Superman shot off into the galaxy. Yeah. And basically, this is where you ended up. But you happen to end up on the planet where the pe well, person who saved your people had ended. So this is basically the rebirth of the savior of your people. Yeah, and this is going to sound like a weird question. Um, you mentioned that Demon Queen has a girlfriend. Well, that's not information you got from Demon Queen. Yeah. Oh, you also, in that uh, thing, you saw their greatest like dark warrior, a person who personally killed like cities of your people this warrior who was known as the blue blade calm down chris uh that's what they call me was in college, it somehow <laughs> survived and that's the one that you saw uh uh show up in that meteor so 
basically like the most evil warrior of the people who is also on our planet somewhere. Oh, yeah, gonna... And this is a person that not e- that that the uh, the hero of your people was not able to stop. Yeah, this is. But maybe with the help of a bunch of other people, she'll be able to. Yeah, you the power of friendship. It's the, it's As the, we all know, it's the demon magic. queens we met along the way. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, that's the you know the little uh, after the credits thing. Yeah. But that was Hero Cast for this week. I hope everyone enjoyed. That, that got was, incredibly um, crazy. That was yes. insane. Um, that's, it's because that, basic, was, that was like the movie tie-in episode. Well, you know what? It was like I was thinking about maybe it'll be a few episodes. Maybe we'll do this now and again. And then Blaze was just like, "Man, I don't want this to be the new thing." I'm like, "Fuck it, let's do it all in one episode and just hop around like oh, crazy well, people." Okay, it was fun, but you shouldn't have done that because I was like, "Eh, I'm not sure about this." Ah, uh, you know what? Halfway through the Marvel thing, I was like, "Shit, this is really boring." Well, this is for me old, to run. We're only going to do it this one time. Well, we might like maybe like several episodes down the road do another like, dimension hopping episode or something. Whenever, or, whenever we do, or a, maybe we might have people visit. We never us. went to DC. That might actually be. Yeah, like maybe Thor shows up and it's like, "Man, we got to do no, something." No, but about at your... the same time, like, eh, like it's, it's not like, really them. It's like the the the. You know, like the non hey, nominal version. Whenever we hey, do we got to do something about your kids. <laughs> whenever we do the hero cast hyper battle special, you just need I just I just need to be adamant about the fact that we don't. Have so control as credits our roll, animals, it so. cuts into a, a shot where we're all just chilling, eating shawarma in the hero cast headquarters, <laughs> I would be and not. a portal opens up. Oh, well, what dimension is this? What's uh, going on? Oh God! What are you guys like superheroes? What about you? That's pretty stupid. That's pretty uh, that's on the nose these days, guys. It's fucking dumb. What about you? You look like you look like you wanted to go to an a, a sci-fi con and a Ren Fair and couldn't decide which one. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. You, you look like you 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 look like Christmas's next hot toy. Uh, <laughs> you over there. What are you made of? Are you patent pending? Can I can I examine your specs? That, that's fine. Ricky, you can't just you can't just go asking people about you know where oh, they're no. made. Like, oh Jesus! Shut up, you turd. Ro- 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 robots are people too, you know. Like we remember we went to Chromalon Five and all the robots were having an uprising against unfair working conditions. All right, Morty, why'd you put that 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 bleeding heart back in? You got this guy over here that's obviously got some gender confusion. I'm not gonna judge you though. Anyway, and then you, I don't even know who you are. You're not in the credits. What's going on? <laughs> you got that guy over there who's barely going big, but you don't look all that big. It's like that you have one job and you didn't do it. <laughs> Guy. I, I don't know if we're we were supposed to do something about this, Rick. We were supposed to come and we were supposed to deal with that guy who wanted to get powers and who's gonna take your portal gun. Oh no, no, he had a portal gun the whole time, Morty. That's how he's getting around. I sold it on eBay. What? Oh fun. Yeah, he bought it. You know, I need a few extra dollars because you wouldn't put those things up your ass, Morty. Oh, yeah, you know what? I have a bad track record with that, Rick. Not a, not a good thing. All right, let's just get out of here before we get this thing copyright claimed. <laughs> it's one hell of a post post credit scene. Again, stands the wall. All right, I want <laughs> cut, cut, cut cut the audio before fu- Doctor Who shows up. We don't want that. Yeah. All right. So. Oh shit! Here it comes. <laughs> So, thank you all for tuning in to another episode of HeroCast. As you can tell, we all have a blast doing this. Mm -hmm. So, uh, make sure to tell us what you thought about this episode in the comments. Hashtag comments for later. We'll get back to serious plots next week. Today was the... This was uh, this was a movie tie-in episode. Yeah, wacky. Still had some pretty serious stuff in it. It did have some serious stuff. It had some plot relevance. Much like a Marvel movie. It also had Batman Brave and the Bomba. Yeah, what did you think of Prin? Interesting. Yeah, she's coming back. Cool. I haven't oh, quite figured out what it is, but I'm interested. Yeah. You all ask, what is Prim? Or who is Prim? But you never ask, how is Prim? Well, I want to know. I'll do you one better. Why is Prim? Yes. <laughs> I, have a, I, I have drawn an, a picture of Prim, but it's Prim's, like, uh, like crazy armor form, and it's very spoilerish. Okay. Uh, so I can't show you that. So I'm going to draw, like, Prim as we saw her today. As well as I think a lot of people like Chernobyl. Yeah. Yeah. She was draws Zell's character and put him in the wallpaper? Oh, yeah, we put him in the wallpaper. Oh, shit, I have to do that, don't I? I'm, there's no way I'm going to get him in the wallpaper. <laughs> you don't have to, man. I'd worry. have to draw it, like, fucking tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow? It's not going to be tomorrow. It doesn't go up whenever. Oh, okay. <laughs> we can hold it. Yeah. Okay. This, these yeah. episodes go up whenever I we can throw them together, and, uh. Yeah. Whenever I feel like. And just like how we record them whenever we can hold them. Whatever order I want them Wait, to. Wait, did it stop recording yet?
Nope. Oh, okay. So for those who uh, are still listening, those who are still listening, thank you for tuning in. Make sure you hit the like button. I and, just uh, don't want to accidentally ask any questions that could be potentially spoilery. If you're, somebody said this is the best episode so far, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Oh, go yeah. So if you're checking us out for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button, check it, so you can see more, and make sure you watch the previous episodes, so you can learn how we got here. Yeah. Uh, and uh, until we see you next so time, like, yeah. thanks for tuning in, and uh, have a wonderful life. Thank you so much. Member of the Bomb are coming to CBS this Friday. No, no. Thanks for listening, everyone. Well, that's what we're ending on. You have another one.